I'm IBX Toy Cat, and happy Friday, everybody. Today, I am playing a little bit of old school RuneScape. You know, I might have gone, might have got a little bit addicted to this one, but I really, 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 more than anything else in the world, uh, want to just do some farming. And so what I've been doing uh, ever since the last uh, stream, it's just logging in every half an hour, getting a little bit of farming done, a little bit of fletching done. Uh, and so I've ended up with uh, a couple of levels a little bit higher than when we were last here. <laughs> And so at this point, I can do a little bit of skilling casually when I want to. I can do a little bit of farming. I just grew some onions, as you saw right there. And hopefully, by the end of today's stream, we'll have a higher farming level and have done a lot of new quests. Because, yeah, I am going to, today, be going to the wilderness for the first time in years. I might die there. I'll be honest with you. It's a, it's a very real possibility. But I want to have... I, I, I want to try anyway. And so that's what we're doing today. Let's load our console. Hey! Level 9! I thought I'd have to rake some weeds to get there. But, um, yeah, it's a very exciting time, let me tell you. Hello, everyone. I'm OBX Toy Cat, and I hope that you are doing wonderfully on this fine Friday evening. I, um, I did figure, you know, honestly, I, I had a little bit of an instinct of, like, you know what? Should I, should I stream that again? I feel like one is enough for most of these games. And it usually is. So I'll probably imagine we'll unlist this when we're done. But I, I really do feel like uh, th there is a real social element to MMOs that exists partially because of this, like, you're doing a lot of tasks that have time in between them. And you know what? Rather than sharing that social with strangers on the internet, I figured I'd share it with my favorite strangers on the internet. The ones that are hanging out right here. So that is precisely what I'll be doing. After I rake my... Uh, my crops over here. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna compost them, which you know will give me even more experience, by the way. And then I'm gonna put it all in the bin, and that, I, I want the compost bin to be going while we're gone. That's kind of the goal. Uh, that's kind of the goal. So with that said, um, I hope you're doing wonderfully, everyone. It is a uh, okay. So let's uh, let's rake these crops then, and then we'll put the compost over here, and then we'll then we'll throw it all in the compost bin. Honestly, the fact that this game managed to get me vaguely interested in farming, you know this. It's such a dull skill that takes a lot. Okay, this is being treated with compost, so I'll just... I'll treat this with compost, maybe? Unless I've already done that. Oh, yeah, I've, I've done everything with compost. So we'll throw the weeds in the compost bin. Hopefully fill it. And there we go. Now we'll close it. And so we've got something happening while we're gone. With that said, I've got a lot of potato sacks I'm going to have to do something with. But yeah, let's uh, go ahead. Let's uh, leave the crops be. I would love to have some going while, it, while we're gone here. But we'll, we'll come back later. It'll all make some sense. In the meantime, let's go to Barok and to the Grand Exchange, because I've got some quests to do, Internet. I've got some serious questing to do in this game, and uh, today I'm going to be making a little bit of an attempt at that. I, By the end, I, I definitely want to be at the point where I've finished my, my, my medium diary or my easy diary for Barok, so I can start to buy some things. I just need 9 root crafting, 20 fishing, some kudos, so I've, I've, I've got some little goals laid out for myself, but I mostly am just making little dents here or there, uh, getting getting my levels up and feeling a little bit more ready to play the game, really. Honestly, that is a funny thing about a lot of MMOs, is like, you always feel like you're doing things so that you can one day play the game. But, uh, you know, there's a it's, it's, it's about the building more than it's about the things that you're doing themselves. Which some people would say is like a, a grand tragedy. Like, well, but isn't, surely you've got, you've got to have a point beyond that. I would say it's not, though. I would say, uh, so who's this person? James. Um, some people say it's a tragedy. I think it's a part of, uh, it's one of the things that MMOs recreate so perfectly about life. Is in life, you can feel like you've plateaued, you can feel like you've hit something, achieved a target. But if you stay there too long, you start to feel like, oh, and, and now what then, huh? So I need some earth runes. I don't need many of them, but I'll just buy a hundred to like stick in the bank account. Um, I can't assume that four, okay, four should be enough, right? And then we'll buy some fire runes. Uh, again, don't think I need these. I remember back in the old days, I bought a ton of fire runes just under the assumption that they were worth six coins each. And surely they were going to go off at some point. It was a, a faulty set of logic, I think, but uh, <laughs> we'll buy a fire staff too, I think. Um, Ooh, a mystic fire staff. Uh, that seems expensive, actually. So instead of buying a fire staff, you, do you think we can maybe buy a cheaper staff? I, I bet there's a there's a good staff in here somewhere. So we'll type in staff, and we'll see if we can't get a... Yeah, fire battle staff. That's what I'm picturing right there. So we'll go for a fire battle staff. Or maybe a lava battle staff, actually. If it's cheap enough. Yeah, 8,000. So uh, lava would be like earth and fire, I imagine. Um, so we want to find wind... Chat, what do you think it is when you combine wind runes and uh, fire runes? 
I guess it'd be like steam runes or lava runes. No, lava would be earth and... So they're, they're, in this game, there's four basic colors of runes. There's water uh, runes, obviously. There's fire, fire runes, earth runes, and air runes. And uh, when you combine them together, you get interesting things. With the elemental staff, you don't need uh, the staff of the element. Yeah, I was thinking um, you don't need the, the rune that comes with it, right? So if I need... So I'm guessing there's steam runes, right? Yeah, there are steam runes, which is water and fire. So what would fire and air be? Smoke runes? Oh, smoke runes are a thing. So we'll find the smoke battle star. It costs 1.7... Oh, that's that's expensive. <laughs> I guess I won't be buying one of those. But I, I just want an air star for now, I guess. Air battle star. It should be very cheap. And we can use this so that we can do magic spells, which I will need to do at some point. We'll just we'll get one of these purchased... Worked out, sitting in there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy some beads, chat. So one of the fun things in this game is there are a lot of quests that you can do. But a lot of those quests are basically solved with money. <laughs> I mean, what what in life isn't solved with the right amount of money? But uh, a prime example of that. Okay, we, we'll, we'll find another bead. So we'll get the yellow bead now. We'll put a little bit more money on these just in case it helps. And then we'll throw on this bead. You know, what, what do we need now? The black bead? The white bead? I think I don't have a white bead. Oh, yeah, that's expensive. So throw a little bit more on that. And so by collecting all these beads, we can get a quest done, which will increase my magic level, which would be nice. I'm going to cancel this, actually, then, and go for a fire star, I think, at the same price. And uh, then we're going to do a little bit of magic today. It's going to be fun. I'm kind of curious. Am I the youngest mod? Says uh, Dasher. Oh, that's a really interesting question. I... I bet statistically it's true now. Or oh, Sunfire Room, what the heck is that? So Staff of Fire is what I really want right now. We'll buy this with an extra bit of money. There we go, Staff of Fire. Now I can do fire spells uh, if I can just get my hands on these beads. So I don't know how to increase my price on these. It's a little bit annoying that we have to just like bring it in, put it back and be like, no, I would like the bead, the black bead, but I'll pay whatever I'll pay whatever the game wants for it, honestly. 2,300 coins shot. And now we collect both of these, and I'm ready to go finish a quest chat. So yeah, there's a lot of spamming here. <laughs> Honestly, it's one of the weirdest things about this game, is how, how many non-human players there are. But that's okay, we're going to put the Headless Arrows away. Oh, well, what we can also do now. So, chat, I, this, this is exciting to me. If I want to, I could buy some logs to do some skill stuff with. So, I think Willow Logs are insanely cheap. Could be wrong. But back in the day, that's used to be what everyone farmed. So, 35 GP. Yeah, we'll buy, we'll buy a thousand of those <laughs> um, for like an extra 36. Just get, get them done, get it sorted. Yes, music is a bit loud. Oh, thank you. We'll turn that down. My bad. Sorted, hopefully. Yeah, I feel like in this game, it's either you can barely hear it or it's too loud. But that's fine. You know, everything in life is fine with the right amount of, uh, uh, the right attitude, maybe, is a, is a bad attitude. So Witch's Potion is just about getting an IF Newt and then a Rat Tail or something like that. Also, Osaurus is GF. That's cute. Um, <laughs> so now what we're going to do is we're going to buy some meat. We have to buy some raw raw rat meat, raw bear meat, and some other rat meat. So we can get a quest done that will let us learn Herb Law. So raw bear meat is a weird one to need. What other raw meats are there? Raw beef? Raw boar meat? Oh, there's so many raw meats, chat. I have no idea which ones I need. <laughs> Raw rat meat seems easy though. What other raw raw meats do we want? Raw bear meat? Raw beef? Uh, raw, raw beef is easy to get. Raw rat meat is easy to get. Yeah, it's probably raw beef, I think. We'll, we'll, we'll grab some just in case. And then we'll work out the last one as we go. So, um, thank you, it's well balanced now. You're welcome, I'm glad that it is fixed. Okay, so what we're gonna do also is we're gonna buy a games necklace. Because I think that's going to be useful for the one of the quests we're doing today. And then we also need to get our hands on some other form of teleportation. But you know, I, I've spent enough time buying things right here. Again, the fact, there's there's a lot of stock marketing in RuneScape. There's every resource you have is worth some amount of gold. And every amount of gold you have is worth... Also, oh, that's, that's a friend tag. That's what's happening there. So, um, yeah, now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the bank. And... Yeah, you know, we'll head out there. Yeah, I think I've spent enough time checking this out. Let's learn about the rune prices, I guess, maybe. And let's see if I can't just buy some. They, I, I guess I do need to buy some essence at some point, maybe. Decant? 
I've got nothing I can combine. Hey, my, 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 my willow logs have been bought. So now if I go to the, uh, the general store, I can ch cut those logs into something fun, get my levels going. It'll be good. Gold equals money equals no happy equals sad. Yeah, I, I think one of the weird things about, like, adding all these tools to turn items into money and money into items is it, like, is very heavily commodi commodification, commodified, I guess is the word I'm looking for. Um, which is like, you know, that happens with everything in life, sure. But by having it in like a video game, there's a certain- Oh, I only got 600. But by doing it in a video game, you kind of like, uh, instill that in people early on, for better or for worse. <laughs> and I think that's incredibly interesting. So, now we're going to go to the general store and get a knife. Because for some reason I haven't picked up a knife yet, after all this time. And I desperately need one so I can fletch some stuff. So, trade shopkeeper, I'll buy all your knives. There are no knives here. There's just maple longbows. I bet these are worth a lot more than 96, right? No, they're not. They're worth 92. Why, why did someone sell them to the general store? I do not know. So, instead, what we'll do is we'll head over to the quest. And we're going to get the fun dialogue where he's going to ask me to do something. And I'm going to have already done the thing that he's asked for. So, I'm looking forward to this chat. Uh, tell chat what world you're in. They, uh, I need, we need the goons. <laughs> We're in world 567 right now. Uh, you'll be pleased to know. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, okay, I've only got two uses left for this one. Now I'm just here to find, I think it's Cedrador. He's gonna tell me about a quest regarding some, uh, some beads. So, no, I'm guessing it's not him then. Uh, no, nothing about this. We'll, we'll, we'll just see who we have to speak to. We have to speak to Wizard Migs Mizgog. <laughs> this is this is a weird little part of the game. I feel like they really wanted this to be something, but then they kind of left it the way it was. After all this time, it feels a little bit un unloved. So there's Wizard Wizard Triborn over there, and there's Wizard Rick and Wizard here, and another Wizard. So we'll go up some more stairs maybe. We'll find what's at the top. Hey, Wizard Greygog, right? Gray's gag. No, I think I want this guy, not that guy. Give me a quest. Give me a quest what? Give me a quest or else. Uh, or else what? You'll attack me? Ha 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 ha. Okay, he's teaching me about politeness. Give me a quest, please. As seeing... Okay, so we need some help. Wizard Gray's gag next door decided he didn't like me, so I sent an, an army of and hundreds of imps. These imps stole all sorts of things, most of the things they don't care about. But they also stole his four magical beads. Now I need to get his beads back for him. Start the quest. Yes. Well, this is a surprise. Oh, no, no. The thing started on the side chat and it made the thing go... No, no, I don't want it. Okay. Uh, well, this is a surprising turn of events. What? I just so happen to have all of those beads on me. <laughs> Are you saying you stole my beads all this time and I've been blaming these imps? Not at all. I found them throughout my travels and assumed someone would need them at some point. Oh, that's fun. So they, they do... They have fun dialogue, but it's, at least it's in-universe. Well, I'll check if they are my beads and give you a reward. You're given the beads. I. <laughs> we found a new person, by the way. Do you have a quest helper on? I did turn quest helper on. I uh, I decided to give it a shot, see how it went. But yeah, that one quest took us from level one magic to level nine. In other words, we spent about eight thousand coins, and we just got nine magic levels, which now is enough to cast Earth Strike from the book here. Which, if I'm not mistaken, oh, I don't have the earth form with it with, with, for me right now. I do have the, the the wind staff somewhere other, but yeah, I um. You see that by the way at the top there? Oh, it's the game like loading in. Anyway, so yeah, one of the cool things that we could do at this point is we could attack this lesser demon through the the bars, Mister Minecraft. Indeed, that's me, internet. Uh, from start to end, this quest was like ten seconds. Nice speed run. <laughs> Yeah, it's my it's the it's the best quest for uh for that sort of a purpose. Like you literally are just like you have a thing to do, and you can do that thing before you even have started it. I think there's a similar quest in the Knight's Sword. Um this is one where you have to go get some blue right so you Hey! By making 18. Nice. Should always be lighting up things. Isn't that noise just addictive? It don't don't you just want to do that hundreds of thousands of times throughout your life? Uh, don't, you, don't you just want more and more of that? The answer is yes, we all do. Um, so yeah, I guess now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Falador. Um, because in Falador... Actually, I'll buy some... 
on the way to Falador, I'll buy some seeds for my crops. Because I, I, I left them. It's terrible. Uh, I shouldn't be doing that. Not not today. Not me. So, fletch some arrows on the way. I can teleport you to Falador. Oh, it's a fun idea. Thank you, Iron Dash 96. <laughs> Again, very lovely strangers. I um so the game used to have something called like tell the other, which would happen um like non consensually, like you could teleport strangers anywhere you wanted to. But I think they changed it so now like people have to consent to being moved around the world against their will. It's terrible. I can't believe they would do that to people. Anyway, so now we want to get some I think we've got enough farming to make some herbs. Uh let's go check. No, we don't. Oh yeah, Guam leaf. So now we need some Guam seeds, which I bet she sells. Guam seeds. She does not have any Guam seeds. You know what? This is uh, when you're ready. Turn on accept aid and settings now. I'll tell you. <laughs> Thank you for the offer, friend. Um, we might, we might, we might take that up. But yeah, so we're gonna go find some Guam seeds at some point, and then we can start growing herbs. Internet. In the meantime, though, we're just gonna plant our onions, leave it be, and uh, move on with our day. It's been like this for a very long time, I'm sure, uh, before OSRS. The accept date has been on a very long time. Yeah, yeah, I think it was like really early days, right? Like, um, I think I think it's, it definitely was 2007 and even before. It was like a early thing though. But yeah, or, or we, if we just turn on accept date, which is this option. Oh, it was already on. So if we turn that on, we can now be, can thankfully do some stuff. I'm not gonna do it right now. Instead, chat, I've got something way more fun to do. Which is, I'm gonna rake this allotment. Oh, my stamina. Okay, so we're gonna rake. And then I'm gonna plant some onions. So then later when we come back here, I can harvest onions. And get crazy rich. That's all anyone wants to do in life these days. Just plant onions. Uh, you should train mining and or crafting. I, um... Okay, so now let's, uh... Put, throw this in there. So, um... No one wanted shipping of other people. <laughs> Let's go bossing. <laughs> what do you think happens if we go bossing with, uh, with a level, level 9? 9.75 like to be fair. Not just any level 9. I've, I've got some skills. I bet it would go poorly. I like how the goons watch your exciting raking action. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. You're right. Everyone, everyone, everyone's in fr uh, excited to see uh, just how this raking will go. They're, uh, do you like my mole? You know, I, I, I just as a heads up, I'm gonna try not to read game chat uh, here in Snap. If you want to chat, try chat to me in the stream. Uh, it's one of the, it's it's a it's a dangerous habit to get into. So we're gonna now uh, throw the onion seeds over here. Epic gameplay, OMG. <laughs> no, I did it again. Uh, Raking with Toy Cat season one episode one. Exactly, yeah. It's a um, it's 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 absolutely riveting content. But yeah, let's uh let's let's try to telly to fall to Falador. <laughs> Let's see if this works. Let's see if we can go to Valador. Oh, so yeah, you get offered this, and then you can say yes. And he'll get magic for taking me here, but now I'm here by myself without... Oh, I guess he took himself there too. So I'm gonna put the weeds in the bank, because I probably don't need those hanging around right now. Oh, I should have put the seed dipper away too. That's... Oh, I'll have to remember to do that later. Okay, no. Teleport me to Camelot? No, thank you. So we'll now take out the raw rat meat and the 1,000 willow logs. And we'll put this all away in the bag together. Lovely. Um, so yeah, I've got I've got a very busy inventory right now, but that can be fixed, I'm sure. Um, and now we're gonna head off to do the new quest. So there is a quest, oh not new quest, I should say, to do a new quest. This is one of the basic ones. It is called uh, the Knight Sword. And it's a mining based quest, which I wasn't like. But you get a ton of smithing experience for doing it. So we're gonna start the quest. Uh, choo choo, if <laughs> extra. Uh, put your weed in the bank. Yeah, if you, if you don't put your weed in the bank, you might get arrested when you go through borders. It's a life pro tip. I wonder actually, are you allowed to put weed in real life? Like safety deposit boxes? Like I'm sure the actual answer is no, but does anyone care? Like there's a lot of laws that no one cares about. And so they're not really laws, right? There's a, um, a surprising number of those, really. I'm going to kill this chicken, by the way. Oh, everyone's excited. Will Toy Cat prevail against the chicken, level one? Or oh, maybe eventually. Oh, it's, it's, it's exciting. Maybe, just maybe. We'll get it done, I swear. Oh, no, the chicken's going inside to escape me. 
<laughs> this is bossing. <laughs> anyway, um, Ann and Sony, uh, thank you. Oh, wait, okay, so let's, uh, I think we should pick up those feathers. And then also the bones. And we'll bury the bones as we go back over here. L look at this. Oh, yeah. That's, that's some good XP right there. Hey, speaking of good XP, how are you doing, Ann and Sony? Thank you for becoming the 369th channel member. Oh, I'm, I'm in the text right now. Sorry about that. How is life as a square? You know, if anyone tips, just know I will be personally delivering your messages. The messages will appear right on me. So how is life as a squire? Uh, it's pretty good, but there's, he's lost the sword. I'll make a new sword if you like. Thanks for the offer. I'd be surprised if you could, though. It's a family heirloom, so we're going to have to work out how to do it. So would these dwarfs make another one? Bet they would. We're just going to have to go find uh, Roldo, the palace librarian in Barok. And he'll let me know. Okay, we can do this. My combat level is too low, but we'll just get it done. Oh, okay. So, it's it's breaking everything again, chat. But we need red berry pies. And we, so every time we start a quest, it's going to make the screen shake a bit. Um, so, yeah, we need to go get a red berry pie and some iron. And then do some mining. Probably get some food too, I guess. But now, before we leave here, I'm going to get my... Uh, this quest started so I can speak to the guy and work out what meat we need because there's three you need for this one particular quest and I, ca I can't recall what they are off the top of my head do, 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 do. is this game on mobile as well yeah they made a mobile version of it a few years ago actually interestingly enough um, but they um, I can't imagine there are people who only play on mobile but I, I you know it's uh I, I think the way it's basically set up is like, yeah, you can play on mo- Okay, look at all these bones. Oh yeah, I am getting bone rich. <laughs> I could grow some potatoes as well if I wanted to. Yeah, I remember it used to be so hard to level prayer because you get- li Literally, look at this. I have 113 prayer remaining till the next level. And then I bury some bones. And my 113 goes down to 108. And then I bury more bones. My 108 goes down to 104. So it's four and a half experience per bone. It's so close to nothing that it might it might as well literally be nothing. Um, but yeah, it's it's okay. We'll, we'll bury them all anyway. Every every little helps. Um, anyway, um, yeah, old school is on mobile, but I I think most people play it probably like partially there because there's a lot of activities you just need to do like occasionally. Oh, we got a we got a trade by the way. What's what's happening here? Oh, hey, thank you. <laughs> Hey, this, this is... Oh, and we got some teleportation. A ring of wealth and amulet of glory. I wonder what a ring of wealth does. Do you think people will be nicer to me while I'm doing it? Features? View boss lock. Ah. Oh. What happens when we rub it? Oh, it can take me to Falador Park. And the Grand Exchange. Whoa, that's a handy one. So we'll drink some, uh, some stamina regen right now. I'll quickly go speak to this farming fella. I think it's a tree patch over here. Yeah, it is. And then I, I can unload my tools with him. And uh, as, as soon as we get our weeds, obviously. So, yeah, I'm gonna... Oh, look at this amulet of glory, too. I, I know that does something good. I have no idea what it is, but I know that I want it. And so for now, let's go start a quest. So the very first member's quest you ever see is this one. I remember, like, I can't do it right now. I don't have the levels for it. Uh, you can do it without them, but it's harder. Uh, there's a there's a ball that you have to fetch for this boy here, but there's a witch that's protecting you know you the, the witch from you and the, the boy from the ball from the boy, and long story short you have to do some weird stuff. Um, it sounds pretty fun anyway. So this is Silas. He also has a quest. What is that quest? He can't stop to talk to me because I do not meet the requirements. <laughs> So instead, we're going to go somewhere around here. I think it's over here. Edgar's Ruse. That can't be it. Up there, Druidic Ritual. So if we go up there, there's a man who will teach me about grinding weeds in a bowl to make magic potions. As we all secretly want to do sometimes. Hello, IBX Toy Cat says Pedal Hyperspace. Hello, Pedal Hyperspace. How's it going? Also, hello, Kendrick Lee and Jed Jega Jedda Nugan. Oh, it's... You know, okay, I'm sorry. You know, one of my things is I pronounce names phonetically. But Vietnamese names don't work that way, so like it's Nguyen, right? Even though it's Nguyen or Nguyen, I guess. Um, I think it's uh, I, I, hello though. Sorry if I if I got the name wrong. I am now going to find. I'm going to speak to you actually. Hello there. 
What brings you to our holy monument? I'm in search of a quest. And so he's gonna... He's gonna teach me about their old stone circle. It's very sad. Totally understand. Druidic ritual. Let's do it. Oh. Okay, so I just need... I need raw bear meat and raw chicken as well. That's the only thing I'm missing, chat. So yeah, every time I start a quest, the screen is gonna flash. That is the catch today. I bet we could turn that off. But uh, yeah, now we have got our first... This, By the way, if you look at the release order, this is one of the first, like, 12 quests in the game. So it's very basic. We're just going to go speak to Sanfru in the village to the south. And he's going to tell me exactly what I need to do to make them feel better. Um, we're going to we're gonna chug a whole stamina potion now, by the way. Just get it done so we can move around the game quickly. Again, big big ups to the posse. I do have, do have big appreciation for the... Uh, for the nice fellows who run around in nice looking armor Helping me out with the, the issues as they arrive But yeah, we're here to go to the herb law store, I think Because the man who runs it has some uh, Things to tell me. So that's Jatix uh, This is not Sanfru. I thought you I thought you were Sanfru friend. Hello Jatix Where do, you can't I'm beyond help <laughs> Oh no, someone's fighting a druid. Okay, so this is where I thought Sanfru was where, where is he actually? Oh, he's in the village here somewhere. We'll, we'll find him. Um, I'm guessing he lives in a house. This is my wild bet. Nope, that's a druid. It's fun that, you know, one of the things that games like kind of have as like a flaw, but also kind of logically, is every NPC is named. But so you just have to find the, like if, if someone is important, they're called Sanfru. And if they're not important, they're called Druid. I think it's fun personally. I heard Sanfu. <laughs> okay, so Sanfu is around here somewhere. He lives in one of these houses. I bet it's this one, actually. It's too weirdly shaped a house not to have... Nope, these are just druids. So maybe all the way by the prayer altar? No, that's just a druid again. Are you Sanfu? Is Sanfu up the ladder? Sanfu is not up the ladder. Oh, there's a druid up here, though, too. Honestly, a bit of a weird village. Too many druids. It's uh, a bit of a weird feeling place. But, um, Goon Squad, says Joshua Lyles. Truly, the Goon Squad has arrived. So I'm going to try the last house I haven't gone into yet, which is this one. Oh, no. He's not in here either. Is he out there, maybe? Is that Sanfu? <laughs> I I felt like it was easier to find Mr. Sanfu. Uh, last time I was here. He's in, he's in, he's, he's around here somewhere, chat. I do know that. I've definitely seen him somewhere before. Let's pick up those earth runes, by the way. I need some. So, that's just a druid. And this is the very south of the village. This is... This is not where a Sam... Where San... you at? I'm gonna ask the posse. Uh, we're gonna... We're gonna... We're gonna ask politely. See if they know. He's in Jatix's attic. Oh, damn. See, I knew, I knew I was in the right spot. I thought... I guess I thought I was, honestly. I guess I didn't know anything. But he lives... He lives in the attic. Terrible placement. Half of this quest is just finding him. So I need to go purify the Varric Stone Circle. So I need raw meat of four different animals, but not just any meats. They have to be dipped into the cauldron of thunder. Where can I find this cauldron? It's in the low it's in the halls to the woods south of here. So I need to go kill a chicken, I think, first. Oh, I just killed a chicken. You know, I need to go kill another chicken. And then I go to the hall south of here, dunk my milk in a, uh, meats in a cauldron somewhere, and then we're good to go. Um, this is actually one of those times where having a bunch of internet, you know, like, uh, goons follow you is actually a really good thing. So, yeah, the nearest chickens to here are probably all the way back at Falador. Yeah, I, I think, uh, I think there might be some up here somewhere in Booththorpe. But otherwise, we're gonna have to go find... That raw chicken from earlier would have been a really good idea just to... <laughs> just to take. So, we'll, we'll go to Falador, I think. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to Falador... Grab the... Grab a chicken. I will find one. Look at all this, by the way. Free money and bones sitting on the ground. Absolute... Absolute value being left behind for everyone else right here. And then we'll go to the park where I just assume there are chickens running around. I don't know if there are. I just kind of assume that it's true. Um... The druid chased you out. I, um... Goon does not mean what you think it means. Goon can mean a lot of things, depending on context, actually. Uh, I think you'll find. You know what? Well, I'm gonna Google the word anyway, just in case. Not because I think you're right or anything. Okay, there. 
I bet there's chickens in this part. Oh, there's a tree patch here too. Yeah, as soon as I get some tree seeds, I bet I can do a real efficient run with those. But yeah, I see, I see no chickens. I guess I have to get all the way back to the farm. We are IBX Toy Cat's meat shield at Lumbridge. <laughs> okay, so I'll chug a whole stamina potion again. Uh, I know for a fact there are chickens just to the south here. And so it's probably worth doing that. And then we'll use one of these necklaces to take me closer to where the dungeon is. Or maybe I don't even need it. Maybe I can go, like, west of here and make that work. But yeah, if I'd have just picked up the raw chicken earlier, chat. Always pick up raw chicken when you're presented with the opportunity. You never know when you're going to regret not having some. So this is a pigsty. There's definitely a chicken one around here somewhere. It used to be my favorite thing to make a bit of money would be to uh, kill chickens as a free-to-play player. Because they never fight back, so you never have to worry about eating food or anything. Okay, so wait, how do I get in there? I'm going to go all the way into this person's house. Stand and deliver. Okay, sure. What What are you feeling like today? I had a sandwich for dinner and snack. It was, uh, it was very lovely. I think you'll be pleased to know. Um, it came with a milkshake, but it took like an hour to get here, and so the milkshake was just kind of chocolate flavored milk. Hey, defense six. Oh yeah, I am, I am well defendable now. Yeah, kill it, killing, killing it like it's nothing. So yeah, as soon as this highwayman is dead, which I, I, you know, I need to kill him for my own safety. Got to, got to get these defense levels up, of course. Although he's actually doing a pretty good job of killing me. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, what is a goon in RuneScape? You know, let's, let's Google what a goon is after we put on this man's cape. Oh, yeah, nice. Yeah, I, I, okay, this is a classic. Having the, ma having the cape, very, very good. But here are the chickens. They're hanging out, minding their own business, but little do they know, I have murderous intentions. Okay, so bucket sounds good. Do it, coward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know, that's funny. I, uh, I sometimes feel, like, a little weird when people interact in game, like, oh, no, you're trying to... But that's very funny. He dressed up as a chicken when I said I was killing chickens. That's, uh, that's a high-quality level of humor. I, I like the commitment to the bit. Chicken daddies. <laughs> okay, so I've got raw chicken, which is all the meats I think the guy asked for. I'm gonna quickly confirm. He asked for raw chicken, raw bear meat, raw rat meat, and raw beef. I have... I'm pretty sure I have all four of those. Which means we can go to the right place. Also, this is a, um... We should have gone room crafting while we're here, I think. I'm having steak for lunch, says Jamie. I hope you're having a good steak. That's, uh... It's weird. Steak just implies prestigious meat, right? Like, no one's ever like, I'm having steak. And then what they really mean is like, oh yeah, this is like yesterday's... You know, this is, this is beef meal. You know, like, uh... Steak is a fancy word by itself. If you want to imply you're having a sandwich, but it's a higher grade cut of something, you say it that way. It's uh, it's interesting how many things can be implied just with uh, a little subtle uh, changing of a word here or there. Anyway, so up to the north is back to Tavoli. And if I'm not mistaken over here, yeah, Tavoli Dungeon. I think that's where I want to go. Let's see if we can find, oh, Cauldron of Thunder. In fact, wow, the RuneScape map is so handy for this. It literally tells you. So these are my friends. Uh, I've got so I'm level nine, chat, nine point nine seven five to be fair. So I've got a level one hundred twenty five, a level one hundred twenty two, and one hundred twenty four. One hundred twenty four is an Iron Man, I think. Um, and we're gonna see if uh, you know the the four of us together are maybe a match for all these high level skeletons. So they're gonna they're gonna tank my way their way through this dungeon for me. I hope at least. So yeah, let's run. Let's run. They're not gonna fight me because they're busy fighting them. Gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run, gotta run. Oh no, gotta run. Okay, that's the cauldron right there. Can I get in this way or do I have to go around? I think I have to go around. Oh no, yeah, I have to go around, whoopsie. Oh, so they can all go through. Interesting. <laughs> is that, is that, do they, do, are they like showing me that I can or did I do it wrong? Like did I do it wrong rather or can they do it because they've done something? Either way, it's a nice little dungeon. It's got some giant bats in here, but I'm not interested in them. I just want to get through, close the gates, and we're good. So this Cauldron of Thunder, for some reason, makes meat magical when you put it in there. Which in this case just means blue. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, when, you, when your chicken goes blue, you know it's enchanted. It's got, pro probably got, you know, like, unbreaking, uh, you know, efficiency, all that noise. 
But yeah, we're now going to chug a stamina potion or two. And then run all the way out of it. Also, um, I'm itching to play old school RuneScape now since I've been selling it. You know, it's a, it's a dangerous addiction. Do you want to do that to yourself? Most people don't. Ooh. Should we squeeze through this? I think I should squeeze through the pipe, chat. What could go wrong with doing that? I mean, there are there are level 111 dragons there, but they seem they seem busy. Oh, you need 70 agility. Ah, oh, you're right. That that is a handy bonus to having high agility, I guess. Also, mending chickens says LSL. <laughs> you know, we've always dreamed of that. If uh, so, I'm gonna let the goons get out of the gut, the uh, the dungeon while I uh, light a uh, fire real quick. Do you think you can cook the enchanted meat? I bet you can't. But I would like to do it anyway, you know? I would just like to do it. We could, uh, I'm gonna take this cup of tea and I'm gonna do everyone's favorite thing, chat. Ah, nothing like a nice cup of tea. <laughs> and then we're gonna go give the man the enchanted meats he wants. Honestly, this is a pretty expensive way to get literally free levels, but we're doing it anyway. I have the required ingredients. Now we can make a potion and it'll introduce me to herb lore and potion making. So yeah, it's a quest where you get enchanted meats and for some reason that helps you with potions. We don't question it too much. I think he said go to Sanfru, right? Go to go back to Kakwimix. Chat, I don't want to be offensive, but have you ever met a Kakwimix? Like, I mean, even Sanfru, I'm like, oh yeah, there's like a... Oh, it's flashing. Is it? Is it gone? Um, blue chicken is enchanted with impaling. It impales your guts. I wish we lived... Uh, in a place where we could also pray ultra guffics. That sounds nice. I wish we lived in a place where we could eat raw meat. I, uh, you know, a lot of people like the idea of rare steak. What if it was so rare that it didn't have any cook to it? But you can't do that because we raise our animals so poorly and rather than fixing the way we raise them, we'd rather... Anyway, um, I have word from Sanfru that you have been very helpful in assisting him with his preparations for the purification ritual. As promised, I'll teach you the ancient art of herb lore. Herb lore is the skill of working with herbs and other ingredients to make useful potions. Sounds good. Okay. I can do that. You gotta fill a vial. Yep, can do that. You gotta clean a herb. You gotta grind some ingredients. Uh, herbs can be found on the ground or dropped by monsters or indeed farmed. So we're going to take a Guam Leaf and an IF Newt, mix these in your water-filled vial, and you'll make an attack potion. Drink this potion to increase your attack level. Different potions require different herbal levels. Hey! he's a, oh, Literally, by the way, chat, that's what he meant by teach me. He wasn't going to show me. He's just like, I'm going to give you five text boxes that explain this whole skill to you. But good news, you're level three now, so you can basically do it yourself if you want to. It's fun. I think Herbal is the only skill where you can't do anything at level one, because you have to do the quest. So, yeah, kind of kind of quirky if you ask me. So, so yeah, that's called blue steak and it's been slightly seared and mostly raw. What if it was entirely raw and no amount seared? You know, why why can't we dream of a, a world that's like that? There's a very good reason. It's, it's fun to imagine anyway. So, yeah, while we uh while we're on our little speedrun quest of the game of the day, I'm going to now go to the Waterfall quest. This is one I've wanted to do forever. I bet it's one of the earliest ones. Yeah, here it is. So we have to go to the Backstory in Fools, which is... Oh, that's cool. Over here. So that is all the way to the west of the Coal Trucks, which is to the west of Sears Village, which is to the west of Capabee, which is to the west of where I am. So this, um, the fishing contest, I think, is a fairly simple quest, so we might as well do it while we are here anyway. Good GN goon. <laughs> yeah, I think um, I think what would be fun is if we get a uh, is if we get like uh, all the quests on the way to where we want to go done as well. So this is a angry dwarf. I was wondering what's down those stairs. It's a shortcut by the way. But I can't go there. Why not? Uh, it's the home of the mountain dwarfs. How would you like if I took a shortcut through your home? Well, I mean, uh, if you were my friend, I wouldn't mind it. Yes, but I don't even know you. Let's be friends. Well, I'd rather not, thank you. Oh, I don't meet all the requirements. What requirements are there that I don't meet? So fishing contest requires level 10 fishing. Ah, my fishing is letting me down again, chat. I'm going to need to spend some time working on that, clearly. But yeah, in the meantime, let's, uh, let's go to Varrock because we've got a quest to do there. 
Because as much... No, no, no. I So I, I've, I've got so much I want to do, chat. And I've while I've got these... While I've got some very high-level, uh, kind internet strangers, I'm thinking of taking advantage of that because I bet they could help me with a very hard quest. So I'm going to do precisely that. I'm going to go over to Kappa B. No, I'll go to, I, have to, I have to go to Varrock. So I'm going to go to Varrock right now. Whee! And then I'm going to go speak to the librarian. And then I'm going to get a teleport to go all the way out there. If I'm going to do that, I need to know what ingredients I'm going to need. So we'll put some of these together. And then I'll really find out. Like, what do you need for Waterfall Quest OSRS? Um, all you need is... Oh, you need the runes and you need some rope. Told you need you need rope, chat. You always need rope. There's always someone that makes you glad you have it. And so uh, we'll probably see the Night Sword. I think we're speaking to the Reldo in the Baroque Palace Museum. Let's see what he's got going on. I forgot. Did you ever go to Valamore? Oh yeah, we did at the very end of last stream. It had uh, it had cakes. <laughs> I stole a lot of cakes. Apparently, so um, there's a really cool thieving thing you can do there, but you need level 50 thieving. So I need to steal a lot of cakes to the get to get to the point where I can do that. I probably could get it done in like just today's stream, and then I could start stealing from people's houses. It sounds like a lot of fun, honestly. But uh, yeah, there's other things I need to do just to feel accomplished enough for it. So, do you know about the Encamdo Dwarfs? The Encamdo Dwarfs, you say? For hundreds of years, they were the most skilled uh, thing from generation to generation. Now they're only left now. They are. Um, however, if you have some redberry pie, they'll be great. There's a couple living in Asgarnia near the cliffs. We'll go do that. Um, before I go, I can teleport you to Camelot, which is very near Kappa B. Oh, that might be... Okay, after we go to the Grand Exchange, I might take this guy off on his offer. Yeah, look at this, by the way. They're all falling in the same spot. The, the goons have become a goon pup. Also, I'm going to quickly search up the word goon in case I'm being rude to people on the internet. Um, I'll be very clear here that I would not like to be rude to people. If I can avoid it. Okay, so... I'm going to search the word goon meaning. A stupid foolish... Oh, no, I'm sorry, internet. I thought it was like a henchman, you know? My posse. <laughs> Very rude of me. Okay, so you're not. I, <laughs> also, what I have to do, I think it's flashing a little bit. Did you see that just there? Has it been flashing, chat? Be honest with me. So we're going to switch this over to this again. And there we go, we're good. So now it shouldn't flash. Oh, it's still flashing. Loo. Yeah, my bad. So, okay, posse is the new accepted word. I'd like to talk to you, IBX Toy Cat. You know what? Maybe I'd like to talk to you. You ever consider that? Chat, what is this? So they put these in the game to... It's kind of like a capture, but for bots. Is it a ring, a spade, or an axe? I'm going to say it's a ring. I... Thank you. Okay, nice. One times uncut emerald. <laughs> so I basically just made a solid 418 right now. Nice. Love to see it. Um, oh, and we got a... A games necklace. I already have one of those, funnily enough. But I guess this is someone helping me to teleport where I need to be. It's a spade. You know, it looked like a spade. I totally saw it. Also, goon squad. You know, sorry, goon squad. I'm a goon too, though. We're all goons in this in this joint community we live in. You can go to Barbarian Outpost, which is closer than Camelot. Yeah, that's a good idea, actually. Yeah, let's let's do it. Let's go. Let's go somewhere more direct. I am going to take a, uh, a shark out, or like some lobsters out, I guess. Maybe a cake would be better. If I'll put the I'll put a lobster away, grab a second cake, and then also put the headless arrows, and we need to grab some number of runes. So that should be enough of those. I think it's six of each of these. And then we need a rope. And yeah, we got all the runes now. Yeah, we got all the runes. We've got a very messy inventory. <laughs> but what what's what's near chat? What's near? Um And then we're going a traitor in the goon squad. So now we're gonna buy the iron bars and the red berry pie we need to get the smithing quest done. While we go to do our also do not urban dictionary that word. You know, just for fun, let's urban dictionary the word goon. Goon urban dictionary. I'm sure it'll be lovely things, right? 
So goon means the trance-like blissful state reached when riding the... Oh, um, anyway, so weather's been pretty good recently, chat. Oh, yeah, I have noticed it has been... I mean, I haven't looked out my window, but it's, you know, it's nice in here, so it must be nice out there. We want a red berry pie. I imagine people exclusively buy these to do this quest. We need two pies. And then I need some iron bars. So iron bars are very, very cheap. We'll just buy, I don't know, four of them. Um, there we go. Should be good. So now we've got all of our ingredients but in too small a quantity. Yeah, I think I need to sell it. I'm going to sell this emerald just to get it out of my inventory. So give that a quick sell. Don't need you anymore. Thank you very much. I could also sell this amulet of accuracy, I assume. Oh, yeah. Increases my aim. I don't need any of that. Thank you very much. Be gone. <laughs> oh, no, I put it too high. No one's going to buy it now. Ah, whatever. Future me's problem, not current me's problem. And now we can go where we want to go. Probably. I've still got a messy inventory, but I did as much as I think I can to really solve it. We'll destroy this. If you destroy it, it'll be lost forever. And now we get teleported to Camelot. Lovely. I don't need to be in Camelot, but it's it's nice to be here anyway, you know? And then from here, we'll rub the game's necklace to go to... Oh, we can't go to these places. But to go to the Barbarian Outpost. And then from here... Hey, there's a bank! And if we look on the map, you can see we're, we're a little bit closer. We've still got some distance to go, but it's, it's not much at all. So we'll close it out. Check I have all the runes on me. And uh, I'll politely ask the goon squad if they can meet me there. Clarify when I said goons, I only meant henchmen. You know what, Dasha, we knew exactly what you meant. We uh, we know exactly the type of discrimination uh, you'd like to give to our lovely strange friends here. I like that there are slightly different people each time. That's uh, <laughs> it's one of the interesting parts of this whole process. Hey, speaking of process, Rachel M. Toy cat tax for the OSRS toy cat. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. I, I was considering just playing and not streaming tonight. I was like, why? Sh what am I... You know, like, is this even a good thing? Like, there's a there's a constant debate in every YouTube space about, like, is it a good idea to upload even? Oh, you know, it's, uh, is it a good idea to upload uh, and to do things that aren't, like, what most of your audience will like? But then there are some things where I'm like, nah, I'm going to enjoy being here. I'll enjoy streaming it. I'll share, I'll share some time with you, Internet. So let's do precisely that. So we are going to... Hey, Woodkind17. Living, living my best life, internet. Let me tell you. Gonna burn a few more logs just while we're here. I mean, we might as well, right? And then burn another one. And then once we get another fire making level. Oh no, this. We're not getting any fire making levels from this one. We're gonna go walk in and we're gonna work out this waterfall quest. I've never done this before, but it's, um, it, this is basically a speed running quest in RuneScape chat. So you'll see why at the end, but I'm level 5 and 6, and this has taken me a little... I've killed a lot of chickens to get to these levels, right? Like, at least 10. Um, but yeah, I'm now going to do this quest, regardless of its problems. It's going to cause the screen to flash, I imagine. Oh, no, it's fine. So I could go take a look for you. Yeah, there we go. Do you see this internet? It's a big problem, but we got it. But hopefully the on-screen prompts will be useful. So it tells me I'm going to go over here, which is where I would like to go. And now we got... Our henchman squad, goon gang, if you will. We're going to be jumping aboard this raft together. And now we can see who Don. Hello. Don't play nice with me. I know you're looking for the treasure too. Your mum sent me to find you. Go home when I found the treasure. What is this treasure you talk of? Just because I'm small doesn't mean I'm dumb. If I told you, you could take it for yourself. I'm fine alone. <laughs> okay, so... Now, now that he's told me about some treasure, I'm going to go look for it. It sounds like I can swim in this river. This is very, very... Oh, no, it's too strong. Oh. that's That sucks. <laughs> what did I do wrong there, chat? Do you have to be strong to swing in, swim in the river? I, um... The government should taxes like Toy Cat. You choose to pay if you want. Your message shouts out in the live stream. Yeah, I would be I would be more than excited to be like, yeah, uh, shout out, you know, if if, if, I, if we get Rishi Sunak on the on the airwaves, being like, uh, and thank you to IBX Toy Cat for your 
Uh, what is that? Like a 30% contribution this year? Oh, that's, uh, you know, thank you. H you're a big fan uh, and you, you really love... So, you read a book on the back story in the bookcase. So this book has artifacts of elven history and there's a, something in the tree gnome village. Uh, there's, a, there's a surprisingly big book, but we're just going to zoom through it. And this is going to tell me to go to the center of the tree gnome village and go down the ladder at the entrance. Because this book told me that in the tree gnome village is a treasure. The same thing that very same boy told me. It is funny though, because when you read guides like this, quests can seem like kind of illogical. I mean, the quest is already slightly illogical, you could say. Also, I wish I was less socially anxious. I'd love to be a more active member of the chat, but here we are. I read it and love it all. Okay, well, most of you, says Rachel M. I think there's a lot of people in your boat. I, um, I do understand the social anxiety, but I really do think, and I, I say this a lot, most people... Is, is the screen flashing, by the way, chat? Is that, is that, is that happening right now? Am I imagining it? Let's see if we can't make that go away. Oh, yeah, it's not. Um... Okay, I have no idea what's happening here, but it doesn't seem good. Uh, let's see if we can't go back to this and then back to that. Interesting. Yeah, it, maybe, maybe it is the fact that something's running there. Yep, flashed. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's no, there's no easy way to fix that this time. The fix I used last time doesn't seem to be working as well. Okay. There we go. No, it's it's still going. Oh no, what it, what is this? Is it because there's something on the screen? Use window capture instead of game capture. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Okay, let's uh Rune Light has a conflict with game capture. Wow, you know, very informed. So we'll go to window capture now. Uh we'll call this RS. And we'll have it capture the Rune Light window, which looks like this. Oh, and then we'll just we'll just run this over the previous one. And so the old one flashes, but this one won't. Handy to see. Yeah, there we go. And so now I just have to put this underneath me. Okay, RS. Move it down. Okay, sorry about this chat. I'll be back. I'm almost back. Here I am. And we just move it under orange square and we're great. Okay, so now we can finally go down there and everything will work wonderfully. Epileptic, close your eyes. It's very interesting that stuff like that happens and it's not always obvious. It's the way they implemented the plugin, but I'm not sure. I'm glad you know it though, while Sylveon. Very, very, always think it's cool when people have that little like learned knowledge that is very, very useful in life. Oh, I think we're in our Daugny, right? Yeah, I hope to know a streamer. <laughs> I'm glad. We're in a, we're in the place that has a funky name. And so while we're here, we could start Plague City. Because that's one of these quests, I think. Uh, Plague City is one of these, right? There it is. So we're just going to quickly... If we're here anyway, we might as well see what we got to do for that. Because currently I can't teleport to this town. And it seems like something I could easily solve. And we'll also, like, I don't know, like... Buy some stamina potions. Well, well, not buy, but get some stamina potions while we're here. So, Zoom, let's go into the house and speak to, not Alarina, but to Edmund, who's going to tell me about the city of the plague. Hello, old man. I'm sorry, I can't stop to talk. I've got to find my daughter. What happened to her? Um, Ellen's a, she's a healer. She managed to sneak the wall, and she's worried about the plague. I'll give you a secret chat. There's a conspiracy theory that there is no plague. And I think RuneScape took the funniest possible outcome, which is that actually there is no plague. It, it, the, the conspiracy is correct. Um, so start the Plague City quest. What should I do to start? I'll need protection from the plague. So I need dwell berries. And the foresters keep a close eye, but it's fine. So yeah, we can now get that slowly done over time as we get going. But I am mostly trying to focus on my quest right here today. Uh, GG on fixing it. Yeah, I'm, it's it's always nice when there's a nice, easy solution to a thing. Also, I've got four stamps. Oh, nice. You know, even easier th than a bank, it sounds like. Lo love, love, love the uh, alternative to the banking solution, the banking system. Thank you very kindly. What, what, a, what a lovely gentleman this is. Also, that person is 10 today, apparently. <laughs> Did Old School RuneScape turn 10 recently or something? 
So now we drink another stamina, and then another stamina, and then another stamina, and there we go. Now, now we can sprint real fast, real fast. That is that is worth 700 GP check. I can't be leaving that on the ground. Can't can't just be doing that to myself. Um, Nightbot, do you want to go bowling later? Bowling is one of those really interesting activities. And that, like, every time I do it, I'm like, yeah, it's kind of fun. I wonder how this became, like, a big thing, though. Stamina Staminas are a big time save, but expensive. Yeah, I definitely think just having a higher agility would be more useful for me. It's why one of my, like, longer-term goals is to work that out. Okay, so this there's a big maze we need to go through to get into this. But the game literally tells me how to do that on this little plugin we have, which is handy. I remember being absolutely flummoxed by this maze the first few times I tried it. Like, there, there's a surprising amount you gotta do. But yeah, we'll kill the, kill this rat first. Just gotta take a little break. It's real hard to kill a rat sometimes, chat. Honestly, this is the funniest thing about this game is like, the combat system works in zeros and ones. So you sit here literally just going, zero damage, one damage, zero damage, one damage. <laughs> it's um, it's wild that this is like a popular, like I, I, I never really got into the combat, but it's like a, it's very, I hit 60s. I bet you hit zeros sometimes too though. The inner workings is there are damage versus action rolls and stuff. Yeah, I think, I think weirdly enough, people would find it more charming if they saw those like dice rolls on the screen. I think that's what, um, is it Boulder's Gate does? And they're like in the thousands. Yeah, the, the, I, um, I, I, I did, uh, I did a collab with the D&D people recently. Oh, you can see the map on the screen too now, chat. Oh, that's wild. But, um, yeah, I did a collab with the D&D people and all of them were like, yeah, we all play Baldur's Gate. It's a lot of fun. You're gonna, just play that. If you want D&D the game, like they couldn't officially say it because, you know, D&D is going to bring out their own game one day, I'm sure. Like every other property does. But it was very fun for me. So drink the last of the stamina potions. It's, I never used these when I last played RuneScape. It's such a big difference. Oh, hell giants. Big boys. Not gonna, not gonna worry myself with them though. Just gonna zoom in here. Go to crabs off stream for 10 minute AFK combat XP. Go to crabs off stream. Oh yeah, I've heard that crabs are good for that. I, uh, I've never done it myself, but yeah, if you just sit there, you get experience for a while. It sounds like fun. So there was a key in this crate, which will now take... Can we, can we go through this tunnel? I wonder what's on the other side. You have no reason to enter the tunnel. What if what if me being curious is enough of a reason to want to enter a tunnel? Have they considered that? So we'll check out the world map. Uh, oh, I am lost. Okay, we won't check out the world map. It's saying to go up here, so I guess we'll just do it. And, oh, there's a lot of hobgoblins right here. Okay, so we'll just, we'll just ignore them all. <laughs> so this is why I have the goons with me, chat. It's because there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of enemies that are going to try and kill me during this quest. This is my home. Thing is, as you can see, I've got a small problem. Hobgobs have been trying to take still my family heirlooms. Just need some time to think. Of course not. I found Glarial's Pebble. Can I take this pebble? It's just some old elven junk. Nice. Okay, so now go bank everything besides the pebble and some food, and then go use the pebble to go to Glarial's tombstone east of Baxton Falls. So we're gonna teleport back over there now, I think. Okay, so Goon Squad, let's go. Um, backstory, where, east, wait, where, where are we? We're going all the way up here, which is kind of closer to Sears Village than to where we were before, but we'll, we'll do the Barbarian Assault anyway, because it's, it's easier for me. So we'll teleport with the game's necklace, rub a dub dub, to here, and we're gonna do it. another goon W. Heck yeah, yeah. The have, having having stronger people with you when you play a lot of games is handy for like emotional support. It seems like it's literally gonna be handy for this. By the way, took out that was a quest um, slash finished quest split instance. Oh, that's cool. That's very cool. So we're gonna use the bank chest real quick bank use bank chest and we're gonna just load everything we don't care about in here i think i need all these runes later so i'm gonna leave those just in case but the coins i think we shouldn't have on us or like 
the bucket we probably don't need. Or the purple die. Or the second game's necklace. Uh, I guess we'll keep this one out and put that one in. And the Ring of Wealth, it's really nice, but not for now. Vial goes in, Tinderbox goes in. Yeah, I, I think we've got everything we need. We're just gonna grab a bunch of food now. Too much food. Subscribe to IBX Take Out on YouTube. Good idea, chat. Um, remember to like the stream, everyone says, Ellis, help. Yeah, thank you. Also, um, to go back to my previous point, DNT wants to make a game one day, says so Mechanical. Yeah, every single property that has people who play games would love to make a game from it. Like, I'm not saying that like they actually want to. I'm not saying I have some confirmed plans. Just to walk back what I'm saying here, right? Like, I... I, um... I think it's always clear that people have business interests in why they can and can't say some things. Um... You know, it's a very understandable part of the world, in my opinion. But... Yeah, one of the weird things about that... Stamina's are better to use when the two-minute buff ends. Oh, yeah, right, stamina. We gotta... Let's make sure we're doing that. What are we doing not running around the world? Not sure it's been asked, but have you played Valheim? Strong RuneScape and Minecraft vibes? I haven't, but it sounds pretty good now that you're saying it. Clear clearly what I need to do is get my hands on some. Literally the meme of the armor dude taking all the arrows. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's what you... Everyone needs one of those in their life. Everyone needs someone who you hate but would fight for you anyway. I had one of those when I was in school. It was the guy who, like, burnt me alive. But, um, you know, if, if anyone messed with me, he was, like, ready to, like, stand up for it. There lies Glarior, wife of backstory and true friend of nature. And so we're going to now use the pebble with the grave. And nothing happens. So then we're going to read it again. Wait. Use pebble with the tombstone. But nothing happens. Interesting. Okay, so I wonder what 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 am I doing wrong here? It's it's telling me what to do. Interestingly, so there's a small. Oh, you can't bring gear. Oh, right. Okay, I literally cannot bring it. Gear or items? Not sure if both, but definitely gear. Okay, so we'll take it all off. But I don't have the space to do it. Oh no. Okay, can we try now? So I literally have to go back to the bank, which is fine because I have this amulet of glory. Yeah, bank everything besides the pebble and food. So it literally, it, it meant not just figuratively, like I literally, okay. So I have this games necklace. It sucks to have to waste that time, but we've learned a lesson now, I think. So back to the outpost we go. <laughs> we can hold stuff. Oh man, oh man. Internet strangers were gonna be too nice. We'll put this all in the bank chest. Um, pick it all back up later. Future me can, can deal with this wonderfully. And present me... It is a very weird requirement. I wonder how you're meant to know this. Like, I guess I was meant to understand some of that stuff I was doing just there. But let's just store it all in. No weapons. Okay, yeah, I, I think I've got precisely nothing that is a weapon left. I've got the shield. We'll throw it in. And once we've done that, I should be sh I should be good, right? What do you reckon, Chad? You feeling good? My uh, best friend unironically says she'll die defending me. That's who you need in life. I, I say this a lot, but like, loyalty is the thing you need probably above almost everything else. Because everything else only matters if someone is, you know, out for your backs versus, you know, out actually for you. Versus for something mildly related. It's a it's a big difference. I uh I know I, I had some uh some wild situations in my time. I've had uh like there's every now and then I'm like, I should tell this story, and then I'm like, nope, I shouldn't tell this story. Uh you know, one one day, uh someone else maybe can tell a story and uh their their own way is much worse. It, it, it's is how terrible I am in the in the inverse, but I've also, nothing happens? What? What do you mean nothing happens? Okay, I'm gonna drop some stuff. I'm gonna trust that the chat people... Uh, I trust the goon squad's got this sorted. So is it the runes, maybe? Okay, I'm gonna drop it all. I hope that people can see when I drop stuff. 
May she rest knowing only visitors with peaceful intent can enter. So that's everything. Oh, the runes counted as something combat related. Uh, okay. So now I'm in the place where I need to watch out for the goons. Okay, where I need the goon. No, 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 no. Chat, chat, chat. Oh, he's level 84. Okay, I'm... Okay. So, as you can see, I'm a little bit screwed. Because the weak enemy is level 24, which is enough to kill me. And the strong enemy is level 78. However, this is an instant stereo, apparently. And so, the other strangers can't actually help me. So instead, we're just going to activate this. And we're going to deliberately get into combat with this skeleton, right? If we fight this skeleton, then we can't be... Fighting. Like, if, they, if, this, uh, if this thing kills me, then it's over. So I want to be in combat. Okay, open the chest. Go. Okay, we're good. And then we want to fight this guy again. Because if I'm fighting a skeleton, I can't be fought by the big moss guardian. That is the strategy, and I think it just worked. I think we just pulled it off. And we're going to eat again. And we have to do the exact same thing here. There is a second chest. Oh no, there's a tomb. But I will die unless I'm... I fight this... No, 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 no. I'm, I'm dead. I'm dead. It's it's over. Okay, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay, so now I've got an urn full of ashes. And now I need to go get some runes, which I had on me, and some food. Okay, so I'm just going to... Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I guess I'm going to sit here nicely. I'm going to attack this zombie that's level 13. And while I'm attacking the zombie, I'm safe from everything else. Look, this guy wants to kill me. Can't do it. Oh, and now we should have to do this one more time. Because there's a big boy over there. And I don't want him. So we're just going to go. Rush. In we go. Oh. A little intense. But yeah, now I've got... Uh, I've got all these lovely strangers out here again. So it's interesting. Uh, what a pro. <laughs> okay, so there's uh, a few baked potatoes, which is nice. Some earth runes, some water runes, some rope. It's all the things I drop. It's fun. It's it's so rare that you can find people you can genuinely just... Um, like, genuinely you could trust to just drop your valuables on the ground. And they'll be like, yeah, we'll pick it up. And I, I trusted them and they actually just delivered. It's wonderful. Um, very pleased of that. So now we're gonna run back home. And hopefully that is the main part of the, uh... That's the main part of the quest. Hopefully that's the hard bit. Oh, yeah. I love it. Level 80, <laughs> I think, can one-hit KO you. Uh, I think these guys are level 100 and they can deal 60s. I, I, I don't know how that scales to monsters, but I imagine they can deal at least 12 damage. I'm very lucky I only got hit with a 6. I think I could have just died... One hit, be Nova. Um, by the way, don't worry, those weren't valuables in the grand scheme of things anyway. Yeah, yeah, I mean, compared to the, the freebies I've been given, it was like basically nothing. Uh, I totally agree with that. I guess now we just want to go through this. And let's go down the raft. Wee. So now when we talk to the boy... Um, so, yeah, we need, we need to do this better now. So we're going to use the rope on the the rock to the south. So use rope on the rock. I would never have suspected that you can do this in RuneScape because usually you can't use things that are far away, but whatever. And then climb the dead tree. <clears throat> and... Oh, wait. I slow. Oh, no. I had to put the rope on it. Whoopsie. <laughs> Big mistake, internet. Big mistake. So now we're going to just uh, eat another cake. Or actually, let's eat a potato of cheese. I've never done this, chat. Do you think a potato of cheese is good? It's got butter and cheese, and it, it heals a lot of health. Yeah, I, um... I, Goonscape... You know what? <laughs> I, uh... D Dasha made a joke. It's one of the, the classics of the RuneScape world, but it is a, um... You know, the game is literally telling you as soon as you get in that you don't want to play it anymore. Like, literally, run, escape. Um, I think my mother used to call it that. Um... She, was mess she, she, she never used to understand what a what a runescape was. She was like, potato with cheese is 16 HP. <laughs> Do you think it's a bit overkill for me to be eating one? But yeah, let's go around the house. Try this raft again. Gotta make sure I use the rope correctly. Um, I gotta go with face ache. Face ache sounds bad, cat. I hope, I hope you're okay. 
So we're gonna learn that we use the rope on everything now. Nice. Also, A Aqua's back. Love to see it. Okay, then we're gonna use the rope on the dead tree again. And now we're down here. Let's go into the waterfall. Is this why it's called the Waterfall Quest? Oh, we got a new music track. I've never heard this before. So because I've never been to this waterfall, I literally don't know this song. Oh, but I do. Yeah, this this comes up a lot. I This isn't a waterfall specific place. But yeah, now that we are in, the plan is to go to that chest. But there's skeleton mages and skeleton okay, So we're going to go in, but it's not going to go well for me. I don't think. So we'll go in, and I'm just gonna I'm gonna hope that the goon squad has got me covered. <laughs> I'm gonna fight Oh no 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 there's a there's a spider. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm okay. We we can eat the lobster. I'm gonna search the crate. I'm gonna eat some cake maybe. I got the key. Okay, we're out. We're running. <laughs> Ooh. It's bad. Yeah, having having some strangers to help you fight. Very good. Have a good one, IBX. Was fun helping you out. Gonna make the fam dinner. Thank you very much. Also, the music music system shuffles all nearby songs. It's a clever system. Also, I cannot go in there, chat. I will die even for these spiders. So, <laughs> eat some more cake. Eat some more cake. Just gotta. Okay. So I don't know what to do about this room up here. I guess I could just tank it. Yeah. What's what's a fire giant gonna do to me besides literally murder me, though, right? Yeah. I'm. <sighs> I don't know how you would do this quest normally, like, without people to, like, help you. Go, go, no, oh, no. Yes, I'm in, I'm in, I'm safe. Okay. So I got one hit of two HP. And now there's a trophy in the in the sky. <laughs> the Statue of Glario. So we're going to use one earth, one water, and one air rune on each of the six pillars. One earth. One water, one air. So there's a lot of clicking involved in this quest, but that's okay. Love it. Love a good bit of clicking. I mean, why would you play a uh, a video game if you didn't want to do things? <laughs> Although that's funny because most of what I want to do in RuneScape is like, yeah, just like have it on while I like watch something in the background. So it's nice to have a way to like do these like active activities. It's one of the fun things about the stream is I'm like. I'm fully dedicating myself to you here today, Internet. Okay. You you and the video game uh, equivalent of heroin. So, yeah, it's good. The assumption is often made that you had a dedicated entourage in life. I think it'd be nice if you did. Um, everyone has it, like, to a lesser or greater extent. Also, I think I just did it wrong. Afterwards, use Glario. I'm fairly sure I just did it. Yeah, I, you know, and then we'll use the Glarial's Amulet, which we have. Use on the Statue of Glarial. Oh, you place the amulet around the neck, you hear a loud rumble. And now there is a treasure chalice. Feels like that shouldn't have been floating in the sky, but it's fine. Oh, and now it's flooded. <laughs> oh no. Is this, am I going to die? Ah, just as much as I have before. And now we just gotta... Wait, did I do something wrong? <laughs> yeah, it says you can get another from the chest in Glarial's tomb. So now that I've done that, what's what's the next move? We're gonna find out from the actual game. I think I'm a little bit confused. More than anything else. Waterfall quest is... The chalice was floating, but I worked out how to raise the floor to get it. I need to retrieve the treasure from it. Was done wrong. Oh, do you think I had to do it in a certain order and I, I messed up a little bit? Uh, whoopsie. So I do I have to go do the same thing with the runes again? I hope not. I uh, may Maybe leaving this on is just going to make me look bad for ignoring... Oh, hey, Rune thank you. Cat. Thank you. Can't even fly. I hope you're enjoying the, 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 the accidental foray into RuneScape that we have jumped aboard today. It's the first member's quest released, I believe. Oh. That's a fun fact. I would have guessed that it was like uh, the one with the mountain. I'm surprised to learn that it's not. You can't just click the chest to open it. You've got to use the pebble or something. I forget. Do you, do I have to use the runes again? Do you think? Because if so, I'm so screwed. Um, I'll assume not. Yeah, let's let's find out. Let's uh, let's scroll through. 
tomb raiding. So you gotta go through there. You... Oh, so I literally got to the last stage of the quest chat. But I've gotta use Glarial's urn on the Chalice of Eternity. If you do not correctly place the runes, you'll take 20 damage. Um... If you do get flushed out or leave, the pillars remain active. But you'll need to retrieve another amulet to re-enter the dungeon. Oh, no. But I... I... Okay, chat. You know the thing I just did pretty well? I have to do it again. Because I made a mistake in there somewhere. <laughs> whoopsie. <laughs> Big whoopsie. So we need to go get another amulet. But I've still got the pebble. And I've got the urn. So yeah, we're just going to go get another amulet. Easy mistake to make. Um, it's funny, I, I can't imagine how you would have ever worked that out, like, the day this came out. Because nowadays, if you want to do quests like this, it's like, yeah, you just, like, follow the guide. Oh, nothing happens? What do I have on me that counts as... Oh, it's the runes again. Okay, so we'll drop the runes. We'll hop in. And we have to do the exact same thing. Do you remember if I went left or down for the amulet? Is it just on me? No, I don't have it. Uh, we could just go check the, the the quest, I guess. So, the coffin has the urn. So, the other one ha is the chest that has the thing. So, I just need to get through to the right. Often, uh, quests have clues on how to solve it. Uh, it's just with a guide, you have to run into them or read them. Yeah, there are clues in the game for some of these things. But, like, if you got flushed out because of that and you missed that one hint... It's just a struggle to me to imagine how you would have found it. I'm going to go go fight this zombie instead. Eat some cake. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Okay, attack the zombie. And now I can eat the cake. And while we're eating our cake, we can have it too. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. <laughs> okay. Now we should be good to go. Going to pick these up. And zoom. But um, anytime you see an item glow on the quest helper plugin, use it. Uh, it's a use case. Yeah, I guess I... Like, if we've got the quest helper thing on, it's a big heads up. But I just struggle to imagine how, like... Okay, so you got this urn, you've got this amulet, you put the amulet on. It's wild that you almost have to make that mistake the first time to think second time. What did I do wrong? Oh, I didn't use the urn. <laughs> but yeah, it's my mistake. Quest helper is like an overpowered quest guide. Yeah, I think... I'm actually... I, I would say that it's like literally uh, almost game breaking to a certain extent because you can either see it as like having a really good friend that knows every step in the quest. I mean, if, if, I had, if I had a friend breathing down my rec neck right now he'd be like, oh dude, so you gotta use the rope on the dead tree right here, yeah, yeah you gotta, then you climb down, then once you've done that, you wanna walk through the left here you know, you, you can tell me all these steps, right? But, oh man I forgot about the, um, I forgot about the spiders here Oh, there's still... <laughs> there's still a guy bossing in the, on, on the fire giant. Um, so I'm going to eat the cake slice. And then I'm going to drink a stamina potion. And I'm just going to rush through. Yeah, this guy's got it. This guy... There we go. I'm going to take the big bones too. Love some bones on the floor. No, no, no! Ooh, got lucky again. Bury those big bones. And here we go. Okay, so this room already is flooded with water. Or at least it's like this. And now, because I have this uh, this plugin, it tells me to use the urn on the chalice. Because I can only take the water from the... I can only take the treasure from it that way. But there we go. Waterfall quest complete. I was meant to save a boy at some point in the chat, but... Pff, heck, if I care about doing that, I just want my treasure, which is this. I started from level 5 and level 5, or level 6 maybe. And I've just gone from level 30 and five. That is wild. An adamant warhammer and adamant weaponry. Oh, I'm level... I'm, I'm advanced 16 combat levels. I'm level 25 now, chat. That's wild. I still have 12 health, so I'll still die. But it's cool that you can do that. Um, yeah, I uh, often... But yeah, the... Um, congrats is Mechanical New Maria. Thank you. And I get a quest level if I'm sneaky in here. Okay, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let me out. Let me out. Bury some more big bones. I think these will have 12 XP each. You know, 12.5 or something. It's pretty decent by comparison. And uh, now that we now that we're out of this, we can go finish the. 
people did this en masse on OSRS at launch. Oh, uh, let's scroll down and read that. And uh, it was safe with like 100 people down. Yeah, that's a fun point, huh? If you have a new account and everyone's doing it at the same time, you got a little, little heads up. Also, what happens if I get in this barrel? <laughs> oh, you just end up here anyway. Oh, that's, that's sad. I was hoping it would take me somewhere secret. But yeah, I want to go speak to the woman who gave me this quest. I'm kind of curious at this point, like, does she care that I didn't find her son? Usually, like, you, you, you start a quest and you do something for someone and then, you know, it, like, helps that way. But in this case, I don't think I really did enough. I don't think I really did anything for her. But that's okay, I guess. Um, okay, so now we're going to go find some rock crabs. O OG gang. I do want to find where the rock crabs are to see how that works. It does sound like fun to get some good AFK experience. I'm guessing they're enemies that deal damage to you. Like, they'll attack you, but they can't deal any damage, maybe. Something like that. But yeah, let's quickly speak to... Uh, speak to Almera and just let her know that I found the treasure. Rock crabs, aka philosophers. Something for uh, streamers. Hello, adventurer. How's your treasure hunt going? I'm just sightseeing. No adventure sees this long... If you need to use the raft, try not to crash it. Was that was that not her son? I clearly did not pay uh, enough for it. Also, Philosopher's Stones for streamers. There's no damage even to weak people. Have a lot of HP and aggro. Yeah, that sounds handy, huh? Maybe we should get that done. But my initial... Oh, I got a diamond. We should sell that. They got 50 HP. Let's look it up. Rock. Rock. Crab. OSRS. So they have, uh, what, what, like, combat level are they? They're level 13? Oh, so they're still going to be aggressive towards you. What do you reckon the XP rates are for just, like, sitting there, then? Yeah, I would love to, uh, also, noob, you don't even have 99 feeling. <laughs> I haven't found anyone to steal it from yet, King B. Dubs. It's terrible. You know, although, you know, if you're in the market, I could trim your armor if you, uh, if you have the right amount of money and you could just throw me the armor, I, uh, I do have this magical, uh, this magical ability to do precisely that. Just let me know, we'll sort it out. Also, you're doing water forces, can be dogs. Yeah, I just got it done. I, uh, I have, I have some lovely people here with me, which made it a tiny bit easier. And so now my stats look hilariously, uh, skewed. I have one range, <laughs> 30 attack and 30 HP. I kind of, uh... I want to get a lot of these, like, early game quests done. But a few of them are kind of, like, uh... A few of them are a little bit... Not grindy, but just, just like, go talk to this person so you can do, go talk to this person sort of quests. You know, that's fine that they exist, but it's, uh... It's definitely... Definitely drains on you after a little bit. So now we're going to head back to... Ooh, I guess... I want to go to Sears Village, but I want to go through this, but I haven't done that yet. So we're gonna gonna go work on the the, the 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 knight's armor or whatever it's called the knight's quest, the knight's sword. I think I'm gonna get get that done. I'm gonna sort my inventory mess. I sometimes think I'm immune from inventory management problems in other games, but I think I'm just a disorganized person. Cause like, what if I need these potatoes one day? So let's rub the game's necklace. No, that won't help me right now. Yeah, I guess it's the only thing I can do. Well. We'll rub it, and it'll take me to Bufort, which seems like a fun place to be. And then we'll go to the Grand... Oh, no, we need to go to Balador already, don't we? But I bet there is a bank here somewhere. Ah, uh, you know, it's close enough to Balador. But no bank, yeah. Very odd. Um, you need to do Witch's House quest. Yeah, I know I need to do the Witch's House, honestly, as I follow. Okay, nice, let's do it. He's got the secret. Where's the bank at? I'm guessing it's going to be, like, up a staircase somewhere, maybe. Yeah, down the staircase. I remember. Oh, this brings me back, chat. I spent easily 20 hours of my teenage years sitting here with this fire, because this fire lasts forever. So you take your, you know, your raw shrimp or whatever. Um, so we'll deposit all of this. Can we just deposit everything, actually? Deposit inventory. And then we'll grab the things we really want, like games necklace... A potato of cheese, a two-third of a cake, all of my armor, which, you know, steel, looking pretty decent. 
I can I can upgrade my scimitar massively now. Um, I can even wear I I can wear this black helm H5 even. And uh, yeah, I, I just spent so long sitting here slowly cooking some stuff. And it's sad because I don't have anything to cook right now. Like I've got potatoes, but you can't cook them here. But yeah, this is where I got uh 99. Um, this this is where I got 99 cooking way back when. Uh, it's 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 a good memory to be here again. It's a very good memory, let me tell you. But most importantly, it is the ability to go to Port Sayrim, which is what I really want in my life. So this is my Ring of Wealth. It is a very nice ring that lets me go to the Grand Exchange or... Uh, miscellanea? No, I'm not going to go anywhere. I think I'm going I'm to use a Falador ta tablet. It's crazy how much more mobility I have in this game now than when I last played. That is the biggest upgrade, in my opinion. Also, look how cool I look, chat. Oh, no, I don't have a high enough defense level. Oh, I miscalculated. But yeah, we're gonna teleport to Falador. Find a... I've got to find a prayer altar somewhere. By the way, I've got zero. It's terrible. And, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be fun. So, cat, why is the background orange? Oh, where is the background orange? Oh, whoa! Whoa, whoa, it's weird back there, huh? Don't like that at all, what's your defense? Yeah, so I thought it was six defense to wear black, because I got it mixed up with the wood cutting, where you need six for... Oh, it's a steel axe, I guess. I got it double mixed up. <laughs> I just assumed, and you know what assuming does, chat? It's terrible what it does. So let's test my new found attack and defense on this... on this, uh, on this imp right here. Oh yeah, five damage! Oh yeah, you saw those ones and twos I was dealing earlier? Yeah, they're nothing now. I got fiendish ashes if I want one. <laughs> what are what are fiendish ashes? So the boss wishes to trade with me. Let's see what he's got. Do 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 do. Oh, <laughs> this is only worth thousand five hundred and fifty. Wow, that is cheap. Tokat is such a troll, aren't we all? I I would like to believe you know. Is the steel pool helm going to be better than? Ah, let's go. Well done. Thank you. So we're going to quickly hop over to my crops. They definitely need some tending to. And, um... Yeah, I should probably buy a bunch of onion seeds or something. Or whatever the next crop up is. I could, yeah, I could grow some cabbages here. I think I probably should. But for now, let's just enjoy my next farming level. They've, they've grown, chat. They've grown. Okay, so... Spade time. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. This is this is this is the real reason the rune like all this questing chat. It's just an excuse to have something to do while I wait for the onions to grow. Oh yeah, that was that was some good stuff right there. Now we're gonna grab a bucket of compost, a couple buckets of compost in fact. Use one over here, right on the allotment, and then we'll harvest over here. I think there's a way to stop the weeds from going. I imagine it's like watering the plot first. If you pay $41, do you get a magenta screen? Makes it any good. <laughs> also, red berry bushes. Nice. Also, level 10 farming. That's a big one. Wow. I am... And you get a lot of experience from onions. Again, 10 per onion shoveled here. So now we're going to use this compost on this plot. And uh, it's a mini game reward to skip raking in current. It's cool how many random things they add like that. So now I can take the compost. And taking compost is also worth experience. Oh, it's worth like four though. It's not really worth doing. But still, it's a nice idea. I'm gonna come right back here with some... Um, I think I'm gonna come right back here with some uh, some onion seeds so I can plant those. It's a bit annoying right now the way I'm buying them. It's probably a bit inefficient, all things considered. But it's great. Guys, what world is he in? So uh, I am in world... 567. I'm shocked that there even are 567 worlds, to be honest with you. RS is the game of upgrades, so many. Yeah, it's crazy, the, the the tree of stuff. It really does get out of hand if you leave the game for a bit and come back and you're like, oh, <laughs> you have to do this so you can do that, so you can do that. But it feels good when you make your little steps on the progress. So yeah, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to go crab at cabbages now, actually. Let's go crazy. I'm going to grab a whole sack of onions, actually. Um, I guess I don't need to grab a sack of onions. 
Yeah, let's not. Let's let's not deal with it. Let's go buy some cabbage seeds. If we can. And then please tell me she oh she only sells five. Oh wait, Sons. Aqua wishes to trade with me. Has he got cabbage seeds? Oh no, he's got something even better than cabbage seeds. A combat crit. There's so many teleportation items. How do you even keep track of them all? I would love to join your crew, but I am drunk. <laughs> I am watching your stream while trying to recover, says Kingy Dogs. It is 11 p.m. I, oh, right, recover, bring... Okay, actually, then I agree with your strategy. I might... This is this is a thing. This is, I'm a big advocate for this as a, a way of living life. But, um... So I need to switch worlds, actually. Um... But, like, a lot of people plan, like... They're like, yeah, go out till late. And I, I understand the idea. Like, things are more fun, air quotes, later in the day as people finish their stuff. But also, I need to be home, like... You know, I, I, not to be too old man sounding. But, like, get home, like, a couple hours before you sleep. And then, like, drink some water. You know, because like, if you try to sleep as soon as... Like, you know, you, you get sleepier when you consume the poison. Um, but when, you know, being poisoned might make you sleep easier. But it doesn't make you sleep good. I find it's, like... Very disruptable sleep. So spend that time being awake. You're not gonna, ra you know, rather than like sleeping poorly, spend the time awake, enjoy some stuff. Also, cabbage seeds, awesome. Wear the dragonstone stuff to save inventory space and buff stats. Dragonstone stuff. Um, okay, let's put it on. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, gives me a little bit of a buff to my stats too. Sounds good to me. I, um,. I hate to break it to you guys, but this is not the real King Bee Dogs. I don't think there's any realistic way to confirm whether it is or isn't, right? Um, I think, uh, end a night out with a trip to A&E for a rat bite sobering up. <laughs> In my case, it was an early night, but I started early enough the night that it hit me. I, uh, I, I know this is gonna make me sound like a, you know, like a, like a, I guess it's gonna make me sound overly British. But like really you start in the afternoon and that way you have like your hours of entertainment and you're done by the, you know, like the late evening. That's, it's the way. It's, it's, it's kind of sacrificing a whole day to, to a thing. But that's what I think is important. I think uh, so often it can be like, you know, there's so much to do, so many stuff going on that you're like, yeah, I can just, I'll get my stuff done in the day and finish in the evening. But you need to have energy to do stuff too sometimes. Get combined strength and attack levels 130, then obtain defenders. Sounds like fun to me. Okay, so, uh, mate in Australia, we start during lunchtime during the weekend. I can confirm it's the real Kimmy Dogs. Not really sure about the real IVX to the cat. Um, yeah, lunch, lu like, uh, lunchtime is the correct time to smart objectively. I, 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 you know, I, uh, I think, uh, it's all about getting the most potential from your thing there. Also, I, so now we're going to inspect this. It's stage one of five. Drop the weeds on the ground. Go. They're worth 132 GP. I, I hate that Runelight tells you that. It's just a reminder that I'm just wasting that money. Now we'll throw this in there. And I'm going to do Future Me a favor, chat. I'm. It's very rare that I'm nice. this nice to Future Me. But I keep needing these rakes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead... And I'm gonna, I'm just gonna buy a ton of rakes right now, and then I can leave them with the, the that, that way I can take them from the, the leprechaun, and anytime I'm gonna need them in the future, I can just leave them on the ground, drop them if I really want to, and I won't have to stress about it. It'll be a big life improvement. Um, by the way, farming is the most hard for me passing on Iron Man, says Kingy Dogs. Oh, you started playing Iron Man. I did too. I, I did hardcore Iron Man uh, a couple of years ago. It killed me when I died. I died on something really dumb too. It was the Agility Pyramid. I just didn't want to wait for my health to regenerate. Like, I didn't know how much damage. I didn't know the risk of me doing that. And I felt so dumb about my death. I was like, I'm just not playing this game anymore. So it's kind of fun to get back into it as not Iron Man. Um, so, uh, chat, for, for your benefit, there are two ways to play. There's actually like ten. But the, the two major ways is like, there's Iron Man. Which is to say you can't trade with other people. And so if you want to get the seeds for this herb patch, you have to find the seeds in your world. But the seeds are only found in uh, a couple of places, really. Uh, you can steal them from a master farmer for herb seeds, for example. And so to get good farming stats, you need good thieving stats. To get good smithing stats, you need good mining.
mining stats. To get good equipment, you need to find the rare stores in the wild and actually buy it from there. It's a, it's, it's a fun twist, in my opinion. So, yeah, I was meant to go get some dwarf berries, by the way. I enjoy content in all level ranges, but endgame is really fun, too. Yeah, I bet the end game does get fun. I've just never been there, so it's hard for me to imagine. I, I, like, I, I think playing RuneScape helps me understand the, like, kind of boomer attitude of, like, I like it how it is. I like what I know, and I don't like the things that I don't know. Because I, you, even though it's the exact opposite of the opinion I hold with games that I play a lot of, you know, Minecraft being the big one, um, in those games, I know all of the content in the way. Whereas if you just know the last piece of content you had a lot of fun with, you're like, yeah, I want to do that again. I don't, I don't want to find new stuff to enjoy. I'm coming back to this game that I've played for years because I like it so much. And uh, yeah, it's weird for me, but I also kind of get it. I, uh, speaking of kind of getting it, let's bank in the booth, put my weeds in here, and my two coins. I should probably just find an acceptable amount of money to have on me again. One, two, three, four, five. Once I caught a fish line. We'll do it twice, just to make a nice two, four, six, nine, oh. Um, I wonder why it's called Iron Man. I guess because you have to be tough as nails to do it, and nails are made out of, uh, thing. Well, so nostalgia is the gateway drug to the contemporary content. <laughs> yeah, that's the, um... That's probably the healthy way to see it. I think I have redberry pies I need to collect. Yeah, yeah, here they are. Perfect. I didn't want them as notes. Can I undo that? I probably can. I didn't want those as notes. Don't know how I made that mistake twice. But we'll just use the iron bar with the banker. Unnote. And then we'll unnote the pies too. And then we can get this done. I think I'm probably going to need a pickaxe as well. So we'll grab the black pickaxe. Let's do it. Yeah, I think hardcore iron man is way too much. It's... I, I always knew that I was going to stop doing Hardcore Iron Man. But it's still... Just something about it. I, um, setting... Setting yourself a challenge is fun. Sometimes. But with a, with a game like this where you pour so much of your soul into something. The moment it was done I was like... But why was I doing it all that time to begin with? It's a... Um, it's a weird human impulse of like... If I'm doing something poorly why am I doing it anyway? Um, we, I think we have it in a lot of places, like, it's, it's why, in general, I think one of the, like, basic rules for games that a lot of people struggle with, like, it feels unintuitive is, uh, when you're doing really well at something, but people don't enjoy even playing if they're not winning some amount of the time. And it's because when you're not winning any amount of the time, what's the point in trying? You're putting all this energy in and it's not going anywhere. I've, I've heard this fun thing, which is, like, if you're in a... People who are really, really good at poker. Also, the Encamda Dwarfs live in a cottage around here somewhere. I bet it's down there. Yeah, I bet it's all the way down there. Um, but, yeah, people who play poker, where which is like, you know, it's an odds-based game, but you make a lot of money when you're good at poker from... When you have people who are bad at the table with you, if they're bad enough, you deliberately uh, let them win a few hands here or there. Partially because it's, you know, making friends is good. Like, being, being, having a good time is more important than, you know, winning all the time. But also it's like, you know, you, you need to encourage your bad, you know, opponents to play more, which I think is fascinating. Also, Sea Shanty. It's always a good time when Sea Shanty's playing. It'll be playing again on the way back too, it'll be great. Also, drink another stamina potion. I'm gonna quickly just go to church. If everyone doesn't mind, it is, uh, it is Sunday after all. Let's hop in here and do it. Um, but yeah, I, I think the, the word Iron Man, I, it, I, I'm sure it has to mean, like, because there, you have to be as tough as, you know, you have to be made of iron to want to do it. They have something called, a uh, Hardcore Iron Man 2, which is the same, you can't trade with other players, but also you can't use banks. I don't know, it doesn't make too much sense to me, but it's it's pretty intense. Um, so, are you an Encamdo Dwarf? I need a special sword. I don't do it, I'm getting old. Would you like a red berry pie, though? Yeah, you better believe he would. They're great. <laughs> you hand it over, he eats the pie. He's eating it slowly, and he pats his stomach. By Guthix, that was a good pie. Anyone who makes pie that good has to be alright. Can you make a sword for me now? Um... What sort of sword is it? It's a special blue right sword. 
Uh, yeah, we can do that. Could you bring me a picture or something? Ugh. Okay, let's go back to Palador. Um, found you. Out of run back. <laughs> um, hmm, you buy a new crystal for Dark Strike? I have no idea what that is. I, uh, today is a Monday, actually. That's a good point. Today is always a Monday. It's about your state of mind more than anything else. But yeah, the there's a certain charm in... There's a certain... The, the, I think the, the way someone put in chat was the nostalgia is the gateway drug. And it really is to a, to a giant extent. Also, do Dragon Slayer, says King B. Dogs. I wonder if I have the stats for Dragon Slayer. What, what do you think it recommends? It came out in 2004? When did it come out? 2001? Demon Slayer? So I've got my quests organized by when they came out, which is just not very handy. <laughs> 2005, maybe? It was definitely in the game while I was playing. Is this not... Okay, so... Did <laughs> Wow, Ring of Julian. You know, people pay I that one of the craziest things that has happened to me is this this was such a scam to 12-year-old me. But just the kind of strangers are like, yeah, have a have a million GP. I on me. It is the kindest thing. It is uh there is a real world value to that. Thank you for the toy. Toy cat. Thank you for the toy cat tax, but in game, the the most realistic uh, role playing version of it. There you go. Enjoy. Thank you for the entertainment. I really will enjoy it. I I will spend your money on uh, some fun skill stuff. I got tell you about skills me if you want to go to Palador. Let's do it. That will save me some walking for sure. Do 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 do. Oh no, the sea shanty's gonna go away. It's over. I'm sorry, internet. Um, so now that we're back here, we have to go speak to the squire and get a picture of exactly what it is we need. I want a million GP, says King Bee Dogs. If you if you want a million GP, you should come on to RuneScape with me. There's this really cool place that we could go together and I could hand it to you there. Um it's called, I think people call it Wildy or something like that. It's a weird nickname. But if we just go there together. Um, I found an Encamda Dwarf who needs a picture of the sword. A picture, a small portrait of Sir Vivin's father. He keeps it in a cupboard in his room. Okay, so we can't catch me though. Good luck in your journey too. So I can't keep the GP safe. You know, you can't tell me what to do. I'll drop this on the... I, I can't do it. I, even as a joke, I can't drop a million on the ground. It is too hard, hard wide into me. I love the wild E. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a really good, uh, it's a really good spot. They've got some, uh, there's a lot of money to be made there. You could, you could come there with me together sometime. Like, obviously bring your best armor and gear and stuff, like, just, just in case. You know, you never know. Uh, you could show it to me at the same time, uh, perhaps. Is this, this is not Sir Vibin. Yeah, if you haven't got a, uh, set, uh, set up two factor, because people hack counts a lot. Yeah, I, um, sadly because of the exposure on the internet, like, I don't, like, there is a lot of stuff that has to be set up weirdly if you have any public facing anything on the internet, which is sad, you know, but it also, yeah, makes sense. I, it's, uh, it's something I don't talk about, it's like, just, uh, you don't want to encourage anyone and make it a, a challenge or anything, but it made my life kind of awkward, um, because of some stuff that happened recently, but... Life be like that sometimes. Okay, this is. I'm also sad because you have GP in the bank. Yeah, yeah. I um. I guess we can go to the top floor. So this is this is Vazi, right? Is this is this your boy? I totally think so. this this is gonna be your guy, right? No, it's surviving we need. This is a different night. How do I find his room? Honestly, this castle is a little bit confusing to me, but we'll find it eventually, I'm sure. Just scan around for what looks like a room of the right white knights. Okay, are you this this has gotta be it. I'm pretty sure it's got a it's got a throne room. Yeah, this he's gonna be in here somewhere. So we're just gonna sneak into this room. I I didn't even know there was a sneaking part of this quest. How do how do I get in there? Oh, there's a staircase somewhere else. 
So for so this is the weirdest thing. There's no windows to this room. You just gotta get in from somewhere else. But that is surviving, so. Wait, surviving? <laughs> I didn't I I didn't know I didn't get that joke until just now. I've seen this name so many times, chat. But thank thanks to all of you showing up here together and having me say that name out loud. I uh I finally got to enjoy it. <laughs> There's a PvP video on the horizon between me and you. It says King B Dog's PvP level freeze. I, uh, you know, I'm in. I'm in. Let's do it. 1v1. You won't. I'll, I'll, I'll get my, uh, I'll get a new. Actually, I, I'm fair. Like, just to make sure this joke lands. Uh, quickly, quickly check that it's a real weapon in the game. I'm pretty sure there's maces in this, right? Yeah, the guy had a mason barrel. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring an admin type mace. It'll be great. Okay, so this is, uh, Surviving's room. <laughs> what a dumb joke. <laughs> what, a, what a silly joke that is. Okay, so in his cupboard somewhere is where we'll find it. That's a bow cabinet. Oh, that's the cupboard. So we just gotta open and shut this door without him noticing. Seems pretty doable. So just shut the door. Okay, no one else open the door. Otherwise, he'll find out what I'm up to. Oh, no, no, no. Don't open the door. Okay, okay, we're gonna just <laughs> look through the cupboard. Uh, I don't have any space to take it though, so I'm gonna have to drop the fiend. Oh, scatter them. Oh, did I get prayer for that, do you think? There's a small portrait which we take. And now he can, he can spot you. Uh, oh wait, the portrait's on the ground. So he's probably gonna notice that, honestly, but that's not my problem. So this is Serenity. Serenity? I guess Serenity. Yeah, yeah, okay, you know what? I don't like Serenity as much, but are all of the Sirs gonna be fun jokes, internet? It's like on a tour of the castle. What do you think the Amic Vase is meant to be? Ceramic, oh, Ceramic Vase. <laughs> I've never said these names out loud, internet. This is, this is beautiful. I am enjoying this a great deal. So okay, have you seen they're working on the sailing skill? Yeah, I. It's one of those skills that sounds like I, I heard about it and I I genuinely wasn't sure. Think about Kaki Mix really hard. Kaki Mix. Kaki. Kaki Mix. Kaki Mix. Kaki Mix. I still don't get it. I still do not get it. <laughs> um, you know, the pun, the pun is being lost on me here. But yeah, let's ceramic vase. I just need to show you internet. Um, I this this is this is I I have spoken to this NPC dozens of times, and I just thought yeah, amic vase. It's a it's a quirky fantasy name, <laughs> but it's not just a quirky fantasy name internet. <laughs> okay, so um, yeah, I I am the White Knight of Falador. I seek a quest. But I've got to do the Black Knight's Fortress. Yeah, I I laugh in the face of danger. Okay, so Ceramic Vars is going to send me to fight the Black Knights. Salty isn't our strong point. Our Charter Princess from doing espionage. Okay. The Black Knights have got some problems. They claim to have a powerful new secret weapon. So we're going to go find out about that. Awesome. So I've started a new quest, and this is one I do need to do anyway. Oh, I can't start it until I put something else on. So I'm going to drop potato with cheese. Now I'm gonna drop the, the cake, I guess. And I'm gonna speak to him nicely again. Um, I, I need, we know that whole conversation we had, he's gonna forget, but it's fine. Also, Sir Tippy Cashian. Yeah, I don't understand that pun either. I'm gonna have to go over to him and work it out. I, uh, okay, I suppose I'll give it a go. Okay, so speak to, do the whole thing again. He's gonna give me something fun. Oh, no, 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 I... <laughs> okay, I just wanted... I was spam clicking through it. I seek a quest. Okay, I cower, but this is good for the quest. I'll give it a go. Yeah, let's go. Okay, I'm going to be real careful not to skip this quest. Right, okay. Powerful new secret weapon, start it. Yeah. We can do it, internet. Here's the dossier for this case. I've given you the details already. Okay, so we've got a whole dossier we can... Infiltrate Fortish, Fortress, Sabotage, Secret Weapon, Self-Destruct in one. 
What a silly thing. So I can now pick up my cake again. And I can climb down the staircase. This ending looks cool because it will actually open up the entire ocean of new content. I'm surprised they're going for real-time ability to steer ships. See, I've only... I didn't know they were opening up the entire ocean. Like, the... The problem with these streams being so long is I talk for hours straight and then I don't realize how thirsty I get. But, um... Anyway, they, um... So let's, uh... They, there's no way... Are they really opening up the entirety of these oceans? Will it be an alternative to, say, paying to go to Karamja or wherever else? Because I've always thought the oceans are kind of, like, lacking content. It sounds incredible, the idea of sailing. But I kind of... I, I've been holding out for the execution of it. I didn't realize we knew so much about it. You've got me excited about it now, Kiwi Dogs. You got, you got me you got me ready. Um, I imagine... Is that is that what the... Is that what the Z in Kiwi Dog stands for? Also, okay. Sir Tiffy Cashian. Tiffy Cashian. Sir Tiffy Cashian. Sir Tiffy Cash Shin. Sir Tiffy Cash. Sir Tiffy Cashian. Sir Tiffy Cashian. Sailing is April Fools. Certification. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Certification. I don't think that's as good of one, but I, I I get what they're going for. They're all they're all named after words. Uh, you know that word makes me lose faith in the puns. Also, oh, what are these dark crabs? They're worth a thousand and they look tricky to eat. Yeah, ceramic vase. Ceramic vase is the best one, chat. I uh, everything after ceramic vase has been a disappointment. But uh, selling to the pre-Columbian Americans for a tip. Is sailing a real skill? Someone has. You know, someone in chat said it's an April Fool's. I was sure it was real, right? Sailing. Yeah, okay, it is It is a new skill. Um, are they really going to do that? Like, have the sea? The current skill of the world tends to make the relative scale of ship and the sea seem wonky. However, developers will be taking this into consideration when designing the ship and sea regions to minimize that sense. So, interesting. Yeah, that's, that's going to be such a huge new skill to add. But also, it sounds incredible. Um, the idea of actually being able to open up the world. Because I think one of the biggest problems of RuneScape, if you look at it, is like you have the free-to-play area, which is like, yeah, you got Lumbridge over here, you got Bar Falador over here and Barrack there, like three big cities. And then everything else is kind of built on top of those. So if you go east of Barrack, you get Mauritania. If you go west of Falador, you get uh, this area over here. When you go south of all of that, you get, you know, the, the Carid Desert. But then everything has to be added as, like, either west of that thing that's west of Falador, or, like, north of that thing that's west of... Like, everything is kind of built outwards in a way that feels uneven. I don't know how to describe it correctly. Also, um, is that the sign for a, a hardcore Iron Man, or is that a mod? <laughs> Stream sign thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to quickly go grab some better potions. I clearly am going for a lot of these today, so let's grab, like, five of them. Um, love a good stamina potion or two. And, um, follow the IBX Toy Cat on Thai. Wow, look at this. I'm basically, basically gaining followers doing this. If you're interested, I think this is the latest video showing off the prototype. Uh, 004 to 850 intro. Uh, the process of adding a new skill to OSRS. Sailing 2024 up there. Yeah, that sounds hype. I... I do think one of the weirdest things about old school RuneScape being frozen in time is it doesn't have. Oh, we finished selling the bit with accuracy. I sold that for so much more than it was worth, and for some reason, people bought it. But anyway, like I was saying, the the weird thing about um, the weird thing about the game being frozen in 2007 is it means that they haven't added a new skill in you know 17 years now. They tried to add uh, real sailing 10 years ago and it failed in the polls. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So regular school RuneScape failed of sailing, but because it's failed, it has a nostalgia and so they want to bring it back. That's going to be so hard. I can't imagine an equivalent like off that, right? Like uh, the when when a community rejects something, no, in OSRS, they tried to add it in 2014. Oh, it wasn't it wasn't an original RuneScape thing. Cause I remember sailing was a joke way back when I played RuneScape. Like as a you know, when I'm a ten year old 
uh, you know, playing playing just the little time I had. I remember I remember hearing about sailing way back then. Like it was always an idea, and I always thought it was like a good one because the it was a joke, but then they legit tried to add it to. So it's okay. So about that sword, I've got a picture of the sword. I'll also need some blue right. Blue right is useless for making weapons except crossbows, but I'll need some decoration for the hilt. It's a fairly rare ore. Uh, there's an ice giant, but it's fine. A little bit of mining experience. Let's go do it. Um, so now let's go back to this quest, and it says the caves below Fergo's house. So I'm guessing it's over there. It says below his house, but I, yeah, I, I think it's got to be, it's, he's got to mean on this little mountain up here. Yeah, I remember going in here, actually. I, um, I think smithing is better in RuneScape 3 and mining, too. Yeah, I, I played RuneScape 3 recently. It's the objectively better game, but it's monetized in a way that makes you feel bad and makes you want to stop playing. And it's interesting, in my opinion, that they they clearly know that's true by bringing out old school and old school success. That there is a point where monetizing a fan base is less profitable than making you one. It's a, I guess it's a debate every product kind of has. Like, uh, also where's the blue right? I kind of lost. <laughs> I got so focused on other things, like I lost track of this whole stuff. It's got to be in here somewhere. I, I remember I fought some enemies in this before. It's somewhere around here. There's ice warriors. Did he say there were ice warriors? I should prepare myself to fend off ice giants. But yeah, I fought these ice warriors before too. But I, I think it was for a slayer task. Okay, so... Hello, blue right. Nice. I remember in the day this was literally just a blue iron rock, and so it's funny that all this time later... Literally just a blue iron rock. <laughs> um, RuneScape 3 is a fun link to different game that has some parts that are more polished but has horrific monetization issues. It's it's so much more polished in every way. Like, it looks like a real video game, which I think in, in some part is the charm of why people do this, right? Like, yeah, look, look at me. I am... There's, there's something about this game looking bad which makes it appeal to people in a weird way. You know, like, graphics are not everything. I think everyone knows that about games. But there's still something... I, I don't think it is that... I oh, I guess I should say, if they released a RuneScape 3 graphical option and skill option and everything, but with RuneScape 2 monetization, that would be the real test to find out for sure which one people would like to play more. So I don't know how to actually change this. I guess it'll be in here somewhere. Okay, so I, I hope the screen doesn't flick a chat. But we'll change the quest helper. Turn it off. Turn it on again. See if that helps things. There's an official Jagex HD update in progress but before summer with sailing. HD in my RuneScape? I don't think so. Anyway, so can you make the replacement sword now? Yeah, I found I found some blue, right? Have you tried how Thank many? you very much. Yes, toy cat. I'm having some right now. It is delicious and easy to make. What is hominy? If you haven't tried it, use this to buy yourself a hominy. can. Drain and saute in butter or margarine. Hungry face. What is... Oh, massa? No. Hominy is corn. I'll buy some hominy. It feels... It looks... It sounds very, very weird. But I'll... I'll, 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 I'll listen to your wishes. I'll buy some. Also, would regulation stop you from building an OSRS build in your Minecraft world? Maybe one-to-one -one Lumbridge or your skills interface is pixel art. You could update levels as you go. Um, funnily enough, no, actually, Jake C. Sorry, I, I'm just... I'm missing a tip now from... <laughs> I, um... I, I missed the tip from 24 minutes ago. I, I was... Funnily enough, this was one of the things I wanted to build in Minecraft most. As I've been getting into RuneScape more, it's making one of me want to build, like, you know, Lumbridge or Varrock or something like that. I think I do a very poor job. Uh, totally, honestly. Also, you need a Fally Teleport. Yeah, I would love one. Yes, please. <laughs> I can't... Nah, I, okay, so what's, what's Aqua got now? I'm curious. I, um... Marketplace doesn't regulate. Yeah, it's a fun fact. Oh, uh, even even handier. So there's there's a lot of people who know where I am in this quest and they know what I've forgotten to do before I've forgotten to do it myself. Which is very funny, personally. So yeah, this one quest is going to take me now from one smithing. Watch this chat. I So I, I, I again, I used to... 
It used to be such a joy to grind up these levels. But there is a certain charm in this too. Retrieved your sword for you. Yeah, 12,725 smithing XP, which got me to level 29 in one go. Yeah, I can now make iron two-handed swords. Would love to do that. Yeah, it's one of the ways in which I guess the game gets different between free-to-play and members, is when you're free-to-play, you have to grind every skill the rough way, and when, you, when you're a member, you just do the relevant quest. This is a free play quest that just gives 29 sniffing levels. <laughs> yeah, there's um you as a free to play you get magic, you get smithing, and you get prayer and mining. I I I think mining is pretty small for the Dorix one. Um but as a member you get like so many other ones. Like I again I'm I'm saving my agility because I want to do a quest for agility later. Which I guess we might as well do now with the um now, with, with the Black Snipe Fortress. So let's go to the north, the the Black Knight's Fortress on the north side of uh, Ice Mountain. Yeah, let's do it. Let's let's get this quest done. I've got some gear. I've got some blue right ore, which I think you can sell, right? Nope. High, high alchemy value one. Um, definitely balance game one to twenty nine. I think that if I was if, it, if they were designing it today, or if I was designing it to get, if, if if for some reason I'm I'm a, a game designer. On RuneScape. The way I would have set it up is so it, um, kind of like XP lamps, it scales based on your existing level. So a level 1 is still getting a ton of levels, but also if you're level 50, you could get like a proportional amount then too. Because the the amount of XP you get per hour or per minute or whatever increases, and so if you're spending 10 minutes on a quest, a level 1, wow, it's incredible. At level, you know, 30, it's not really, or oh, at level, I don't know, 70, it's just not worth doing. So ideally, they'd scale it so that it's the worth the equivalent of 10 levels of, you know, stuff. Need some quest items for this one. Ah, uh, who wants to deal with that then? It is nice that we're slowly getting through. I have the items you need for this quest. <laughs> That's so funny. I was, I was about to give up on it and just, like, do the other things I need to do. What I So I, I've, I haven't done this quest in forever. Oh, it's cabbage. Uh, 98. And, okay, so nice. This is why you need a goon squad in tonight. Some people play free to play only as a challenge, like as a restricted version of the game. Yeah, so that is the most interesting thing because the hardest way to play the game is as a hardcore ultimate Iron Man. So you can't die, you can't bank, you can't trade, and you've got to do everything yourself effectively. But then people make an even harder version, which is the free to play version of all of that. And it's interesting because as a game developer, I'm sure they have, you know, like they, the whole game was set up to make it harder to do free to play so people would do membership. And so if people use that challenge intentionally, um, I imagine that like causes them some, some feelings of some sort. Hey, speaking of feelings, thank you, Bennett Hopper. And there's now a guy playing every version where he can't even get one damage. Yeah, I think I, I think I watched that video. It's by the guy who did the um, only, uh, only Mauritania challenge. Also, um, yeah, let's 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 do it. Oh yeah, you, you think you can kill me, dwarf? But I am powerful now. Killing it. Also, chaos runes, nice. So yeah, this is the this is a quest I have to do so I can get agility, and I only want to do this agility stuff so I can actually train it myself because I feel like again I, I want to have this nice big impact at the very beginning. Is it an actual cabbage from Draenor? <laughs> do you think the game knows? I hope the game doesn't know. But yeah, let's walk all the way over there. We'll drink a stamina potion. Couple, couple, couple sips of that, and we'll come in. Um, but the um, good luck on the quest. Says Married in Minecraft. Thank you, Married in Minecraft. Uh, good to see you, by the way. I mean, I, you, I, it sounds like you probably ran in the meantime, but we're good. Yeah, I, I, I think one of the things I is fascinates me most in this world is when economic incentives and creative incentives clash. I, um, I think the, the the closest I get to dealing with these on YouTube is like, oh yeah, sometimes people will artificially elongate a video. Is well, at least that's what viewers say. But what it actually is is like you have less incentive to cut a video down. Saying something in less words is harder to do, and so you have less of an incentive to do that. People imagine that you're sitting there like, 
adding a bunch of conjunctions to a script. But the, the equivalent of that in every other industry fascinates me. Because there is always a point, you know, like where... Also, I, I don't think I'm in here. I think I messed this up. I, I think I've mixed up here with the north of this place, which is where I actually want to be. So we're going up into the mountains up here, I think. It's been so long since I've been there, honestly. See, this is where the, this is why those quest arrows are so handy. Uh, let's see, we can't find it. Quest helper. Okay, Black Knight's fortress. Let's put it back on. Infiltrate the fortress. Okay. So now, now the game can just point me in places. <laughs> so again, King Bee Dog's nerd about RuneScape. It's delightful to see. I think there is a whole generation for whom RuneScape. I think the I guess like you know. Oh wait, wait, we have to put this stuff on. Look, I look exactly like everyone else, chat. They'll never know that I'm not one of them. Open the sturdy door. Yeah, you can't can't work out who I am. <laughs> Apparently they can't. They're, they're attacking me right now. Just sneak down, sneak in. No, 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 what's happening? Go through. Oh, this it's like a little maze in here. Go up here. Go down here. And then there's a... Wait, what am I doing over here? Do I have to pray at the chaos altar? Oh, it's just, it's a regular altar, but for chaos. I think, um, I think it's a thing that has a secret weapon coming along. Invincibility potion's almost ready, but it's taken me five years. I'm sure there's no invincibility potion. We just need, uh, cabbages. Now remember, Graldo, only a drain or manage can cabbage will do. Don't get lazy and bring any old cabbage. That would entirely wreck the potion. Do you think that's true, chat? One cabbage not from Drainer Manor? How would they know? <laughs> like, I actually don't know. I played EverQuest. Yeah, there was Ultima before that too, right? I think there was... World of Warcraft was the most common one. Then there was EverQuest, then there was Ultima. And there, there were lots of MMOs that had the same basic idea. What if you... You know, effectively d and d uh, you know, like, what if there was this fantasy world, but in, in a real playable game? Like, it, it's, it was weird for me to discover that, okay, wouldn't go in there if I was you, I have to eat something. Okay, um, so I have to get over there somehow. How am I gonna do it? Let's go in. Those black knights are an important meeting, they kill anyone who goes in there. What do I have to do? Do I have to kill you? Yeah, it's not, okay, I just wanna, I wanna, okay, let, let me out of this. Okay, so I'm gonna go down that staircase. And we go out the door. I'm guessing I didn't wear something correctly. Go east in the ladder room and try the climb there. When trying to get through the door room, you have to go through some dialogue, select option two. Oh, so I'm just gonna to talk to the fortress guard. But I can't open this door. Okay, so I'll, I'll go talk to the boy over here. Oh, no, 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 I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. No, 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 I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Okay, so I've got food on me. Red berry pie and a potato of cheese. So we'll eat the potato of cheese. We'll open the sturdy door. And I'm gonna take some of these bones, right, chat? And that'll give me prayer level 12. <laughs> which will help me have this 10% this decrease in damage. So now we walk back in. And we just walk in here. But I can't get in here because this guy's I don't want, I don't want you to fight me, friend. I I'm I'm not interested. I I am actively uninterested, I would say. Oh no. So what's a good alternative? <laughs> um I could put my better arm back on. I could try and run my way through this. Yeah, I'm going to have to do that anyway. Yeah, I'm dying pretty bad. I can't eat the cabbage. I want to eat the cabbage, but I can't. I can eat the red berry pie, though. Yeah, I have a red berry pie. I'll eat the full thing, in fact. Then I'll put this prayer back on. And I'm gonna... Okay, so I'm... I'm guessing these people can't help me. Yeah, the guy is inside. So I've got to have... Be prepared for multiple 33 level black knights to attack me. How do I stop them? Where the amulet, Andrew? Okay, okay that's the plan. Amulet time. Yeah, we don't have the disguise. <laughs> okay. So the amulet of glory. Okay. Go 
Talk to Fortress Guard. Hey, get back on duty. Uh, no, stop. I don't want to... <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm dead. Um, trade. Okay, I, I'm guessing I can just tank a bunch, get them trapped in a corner somewhere, and then deal with it that way. That, I've got some very lovely people here to help me with cakes. So many cakes. Too many cakes. Um, let's do it. Okay. This, this is why this is why you need nice strangers all the time, isn't it? Okay, eat cake. Okay, time. Get disguised. Oh, wow. Okay. I... I... I guess I could just get this Black Knight on the wrong side of this. And then I just talk to that Fortress Guard. Maybe if I kill the Black Knight... It, it's probably going to take me some time to do. But if I've got the food, I can just kill him. And if I kill him, I can get through the door. There we go. Yeah, hefty. If you need more food before I finish, come on, potatoes. Yeah, I think I'll be good. Yeah, we're great. We're doing wonderfully. I, he's got a lot of armor on, but I'll, I'll get through it. If I switch out to block, that might be useful, actually. Get a little defense experience. Cake is efficient at low HP levels. Yeah, definitely noticing that. Um, I think that's why I always used to love stealing cake early in the game. It's because you steal the cake and now you've got food sorted forever. And it feels good to eat your own food, you know. Food that you, you prepared. Okay, attack black. Come on, just... At some point, you have downtime eating three times. Okay, just come on. Just walk over here. <laughs> I want him to get away from the fortress guard. Okay, so now when the fortress guard comes back here, I'll be fine. Okay, fortress guard, let me through this through this door. Get back on duty. Uh, oh. What, what, what do you mean? Ah, uh, if he had to. Okay, so they they said they'd kill anyone who went in there. I don't care. I'm going in anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh no, no, right, right. Okay, cake, cake time. Okay, I'm not quite dead. Very close though. See, so, yeah, it's a nice little, nice little fortress quest. This is. I. It's been so long since I did it. I genuinely have no recollection of that whole interaction. But I like that they've turned this into a cutscene. <laughs> I hope it's not a Draenor cabbage cat. We're ruined if it's from Draenor. Oh. I really want to know what happens if it's a cabbage that you got from Draenor Manor. What? Where has Groudo got to of that magic cabbage? Oh no. It's going to be a non-magic cabbage falling from the sky. <laughs> this is so stupid. So ridiculously stupid. I love it. My potion. This doesn't look good. Meow. Man, it's it's I, I love how terrible that looks. So we've successfully sabotaged the weapon plan. And now we can just head back to Falador. Which I forgot to bring a tablet for. Oh, we got a freaky forester. I don't think I've had this event yet. Can you come help me with some pheasants? Okay, I'll help. Okay, so find the two-tailed pheasant, please. Bring me raw pheasant when you're done. So this guy has two tails. So again, this is one of those AFK qu uh, challenges, chat. It's a very weird thing. You may use the portal to leave the area now. Thank you. What do I get in exchange? Lederhosen shorts? <laughs> Why would I want these, chat? Why would I possibly want these? <laughs> okay, I'll wear them anyway, then. Um... It just stops you from drawing it. I don't remember if a chat box says it or a regular game message. That's so interesting that they probably have to have, like, two items underlying it, right? To have that work correctly. But it's very, very fun that they do. It's very, very fun that they do. Um, you do any PVM? I, I think I'd like to try some PVM once I get some decent levels. I hear there's a mole that you can fight at fairly low levels. Sounds like a lot of fun. Yeah, I've got to remember to bring teleports with me places. I'm kind of like resting on everyone else's laurels for this one. Yeah, we'll just kind of go this way. I've now got an iron chain body, which is worth 114 GP though. So I'm kind of... I don't mean to brag, but I am doing pretty well for myself right now, chat. You know what I'll do is I'll follow I'll follow Wild Sylvian here, and I'll get him to lead us to Falador. 
<laughs> this is my genius strategy. Which I guess if he did that, then I'd be able to do, um, I have to tell you. Yeah, it's, I, I, I'm trying to train myself into remembering to actually doing it, but next time I'll bring a teleport. I'll have to do it, chat, or I'll feel really bad. Teleport time, let's go. Drink another stamina potion. Um, I, um, Amazon Trail was fun. I remember playing the first Oregon Trail when I was maybe three. I, I played a lot of derivatives off the Oregon Trail, and it's actually surprisingly fun. I think uh, every now and then you accidentally make a formula for a game that just perfectly hits. And that is one of those examples. It's like uh, also ceramic bars. Give me my quest complete. There was talk of a cash reward, 2,500 coins. Yeah, I am wealthy now. <laughs> More seriously though, I can now speak to him one more time. And he can, uh, there's always a organization looking for uh, capable things. Yeah, I wanna start the recruitment drive quest. Yeah, let's do it. So when we complete this, we'll get agility, prayer, and herb law, which is really, really solid. They're all decent uh, experience things we want. And uh, then we can also set our respawn to Falador, which I think might be nice. So, yeah, I hope we just set that up. I'm not sure that we did, though. I already have put forward as a... Okay, so I can spare you walking out of the castle. Yeah, let's do it. I'd love that. Let's set it up. In the meantime, we'll go... <laughs> Chat, have you ever used the teleport for so little? It's like uh, it's like deciding to, you know, like, I don't know, take a, take a train one stop or get in a car just to go to the store that is definitely walking distance. It's a, uh, it's a powerful feeling. It's a reminder the world bows to you and not the other way around. So I just need to start talk to Sir Tithian Cashian in the park. Follow the taxi. <laughs> I think I do need to uh, empty out my bank though for this. Or empty out my inventory. It's going to be even messier, but let's just do it anyway. Throw it all in there. Throw that all in there. Um, no items or equipment carried. Not even food? Wild. Uh, it's sad, though. Crazy Toy Cat is old enough to still have played uh, kind of one of the most popular computer games. It was on a big black floppy disk. Yeah, I've definitely played derivatives of it. Like, I played... Um, years ago, we played Super Mario Brothers 1. I don't know what's even called the first one. The, the very first 2D Mario game, the, the really successful one. I... Um, I played that on a stream all the way through, and I was like, oh, this game's still actually quite a bit of fun. So I'm going to begin some testing now. Okay, so he's going to teleport me there. Mind your head. Ignore the smell nearly there. <laughs> okay, so I do think this is actually a quest. This is one of those quests where the advice is going to ruin it, so I'm not going to read it, chat. But uh, my husband is four times older than my, dust my daughter. In 20 years, he will be twice as old as my daughter. Okay, chat. So, Mrs. Hinterpret. <laughs> Mrs. Hinterpret. <laughs> I never read these names. I am having the best time realizing that there were jokes in this. I was just enjoying it for what it was. So, as her husband is four times older than my daughter. In 20 years' time, he'll be twice as old as my daughter. So, um, if he is... If he's eight and she's two, in 20 years, he'd be 28, she'd be 22. So the scaling difference is, in 20 years time, he'll be twice as old. And he's currently four times as old. So the gap halves, so the gap currently is 20 years. So the gap, yeah, the gap is 20 years the gap is 20 years right now and he's four years older than her so she's 7.5 her husband is eight <laughs> no her husband is yeah her husband is 40 her daughter is 10 her daughter will be 30 and he'll be 60 yeah next challenge it's a silly it's a silly challenge but it's nice 
Ceramic Boss, I did catch and misinterpret. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing the other NPCs' names now. So this is Sir Sipis. Sir... Spicious. Oh, Sir so sp <laughs> Anyway, so Suspicious welcomes me. What am I supposed to be doing in this room? Your task is to take this fox, chicken, and bag of grain across the bridge to the other side. Oh, this is one of my favorite logic puzzles, chat. So, the f I can only carry one object at a time. The fox wants to eat the chicken. The chicken wants to eat the grain. And if you ever leave the fox with the chicken or the grain with the chicken, one of them will be eaten. So, the fox eats the chicken. The chicken eats the grain. If I leave any of these guys atten unattended, they eat the other. So I have to get all three across to the other side, only carrying one at a time. Oh, it says bring up the chicken. I thought I had to take the grain first. Oh yeah, so the gr take the chicken because the fox won't eat the grain. It's the only way I can get one of them across to the other side. Yeah, this this little quest marker is ruining my, my challenge here, but it's fine. So then once we take the chicken to the other side, we are gonna go back across and we're gonna take the fox. And then once we take the fox... Oh, I have to... Wait. Drop the chicken from your equipped items. Okay. So once we drop the chicken, who is currently in my offhand slot... Oh, that's funky. You can actually see me holding a chicken. <laughs> so we leave the chicken. And now the chicken's fine. The chicken can stay by himself. Then we can bring the fox or the grain. I don't think it actually matters, but we'll bring the fox. Right? And then we're going to carry the fox across. He's also in my offhand slot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so we're going to carry him across. And the fox will eat the chicken if I leave the chicken there. So I'm going to carry the chicken across back with me. That sounds unintuitive. But now I've got the fox across by himself. And so I take the chicken with me. And then I'm going to take the grain... Then I'm going to leave the chicken and take the grain across. So there's the fox and the grain together on that side. Then I can bring the... Uh, oh, no, no. So I remove the chicken. And now once I do that... I should be safe. No foxes eating no chickens. We'll be safe. Yeah, I love this puzzle. This this is one of my favorites. Celest Celestial C Sylveon, totally agree. I, uh, there we go. And now we go through it. This Again, this is one of those like unnecessary times for the quest helper, but I You know, I it's it's nice anyway. And there we go. We we just we just solved a riddle with the help of a little little blue flashing arrow. <laughs> Okay, so now we use the portal. I don't remember this one. The room will test your also lady table. What's the pun here? Lady table? Okay, 10 seconds remember the statues now. Um, it's one gold, two bronze, uh, one silver, one bronze, one gold. So there's one gold statue missing. And it's gonna be in the top left, right? Unless they move them around. Oh, but I wouldn't know. So the you have to you have to know that it's this one because there was a there was a silver, a bronze, and a gold for each of the other types, but not for this one. Okay, lay the table, lady table. Oh, lay 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 the table. Okay, thank you. Very high quality. <laughs> okay, use portal. So this is sir sir quam. Circumference. Circumference. Okay. So circumference. Uh, ah, IBX Cat, you're finally here. You're gonna defeat Sir Lay. He has been blessed by Saradamin to be undefeatable by any blade, so it should be a challenge for you. If you're having problems, remember a true warrior uses his wits as much as his brawn. Fight smarter, not harder. Okay, so I am gonna pick up anything. Yeah, still battle at. No, it's still Warhammer. And then I'll, I'll, I'll use the sword to start, I guess. He's level 20, so I, I don't know if I'll win this fight. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to pray, but I can't pray. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, I've got a defense level, so it might help. And so he can't be killed by a sword, right? So I switch out the last second into a warhammer. Also, the, the arrow is a little bit obnoxious here. I think I have to... I, I'm pretty sure I know I have to kill the guy that I'm in a room with. Okay, he might finish me first, chat. Ooh, he did. He did. What happens if you die here? Oh, it's a full-on death. Oh. Chat, I didn't expect that. 
Oh. Do, can you bring food in there with you? I didn't realize that was an option. Yeah, it says no items carried. I'm pretty sure I can't bring food. Wild. Um, whoopsie. <laughs> so that should be easy enough to go back to, I'm sure. Um, but now I've got my full prayer points, that might help me. Maybe like a potion or something might might go some distance. But I've also, I've also got a knife, which is great. So let's um, teleport to Falador. And I'm going to bring a piece of bread with me. Like one single piece of bread will do it. Let's go. Whee. Yeah, I'm, I'm really praying that it's not going to make me reset this whole quest. That's my, my big fear right now. Yeah, I'll go. Don't make me do it all again. Okay, so I have to leave my bread behind. <laughs> yeah, so this is actually... I guess I could boost my stats before going in. But you can't bring in anything with you that will help. So yeah, we're just going to skip to Sir Ren Itchard. Sir Ren Itchard? I don't get it. A combination lock door? Oh. Okay, so B... Oh, it just tells me how many times to press it. <laughs> B-I... Okay, let's work out what the... What the I want to work out the... How you work this one out. Can I have a clue for the door? Better than me, you're not fine. In rhyming and in puzzle, the clue so clear will tax your mind entirely as it can puzzles. Okay, so... The answer is bite. Chat, how am I meant to work that out from what he said? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you here. It doesn't feel very logical that bite is the answer to the, the, the riddle he just gave me. Your wit is sharp. Your brain's quite clear. You solved my puzzle with no fear. At puzzles, I rank you quite the best. Now enter the portal for your next test. Do not die again or you'll lose your items, lol. Oh, yeah? Also, welcome to my challenge, mischief is. I don't have any items to lose, right? No, I'm sorry. It's forbidden by our rules. If you're having a particularly tough time with it, I suggest you leave and come back later when you're in a more repetitive frame of mind. Sometimes a break from concentration will lead fresh insight. Okay, so there's a magnet on the bookshelf. And then we're going to go in here. There are two vials. Take both vials. Then we're going to check this. There's a vial. Yes. Check here. Vial on the shelf. Got to keep taking vials at this point, chat. Who knows if I need them? I don't, why do I want five files? What could this possibly be useful for? Okay, so I've got some wire. I've got some weird liquids, and I've got a pan. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to make a key, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm using all of this so I can make a, a key chat. It feels a little bit weird, but it's good. Yeah, you can claim stuff at Death's office, and if you don't lose what's in there, you. You die again, but you can't bring stuff, so you lost nothing. Yeah, I thought I, I didn't bring anything with here, with me in here, so I think I'm pretty good. So an empty vial, empty vial, empty vial. Yeah, uh, this. Okay, three vials. Take them all just in case. Bit of a weird quest, or a bit of a weird uh, puzzle this one is. But now we'll take metal spade. Take, we'll use the metal spade with the Bunsen burner. <laughs> Wait, what did that just do? It's now got a metal spade with no handle. And so... Wait, did I do that wrong? Now I can use my metal spade with no handle in the door. And then use culprit sufate. I, I have no idea what this is, by the way. On the stone door. Okay, and then, wait, what? <laughs> I think I have to get more of that. Nothing of interest on these shelves. Okay, I think I, I think I messed that one up a little bit, chat. Was I meant to do that? Just put the cupric sulfate on there? Okay, so if I pull the spade from the door, I'll definitely be, not be left with this. It's a science puzzle that they uh, expect kids to know. Yeah, so, okay. It's sodium chloride. Cupric. Oh, I think I put the wrong thing on there. Okay. 
So I've, I've got, I put the Culpix Souffre on there. Do I just put it all on the spade? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing at this point. Okay, so we'll, we'll search and see if we can maybe get some more. There's nothing of interest. I'm really stuck, is there anything you can do? When I was attempting to join the Temple Knights, I had to do it myself. It was slightly different. I left notes in one of the book cases. If you look carefully, you may find them. I can't help more than that, I'm afraid. Okay, so in one of these bookcases, they'll tell me exactly what I do. Eat the chemicals. At this point, I think I should just do this. Let's start mixing chemicals till one of them does something. Oh, we did it. We got question, question, <laughs> mark mixture. Okay, let's apply it to the door. You, but the substance to sell the bile is dried up and won't come out. Let's use it on the Bunsen burner. Maybe it'll make an explosion. Okay, I think I messed this one up, chat. Examine key. I think I want to make a... Okay, we'll, we'll use the magnet on the key. Or the tin on the key. Okay, I've messed this up royally. Eat the cat. Yeah, that... I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to... Recruitment drive. Recruitment drive. So yeah, the idea is with... What is she called? Mischievers? Um... For the first door, take the metal spade, use it on the Bunsen burner to remove the wood. Use it on the stone door, and then use the culprit soufrate. Oh, uh, I was meant to use it. And if I did it wrong, I'm guessing I have to... I'm guessing I have to do something again, like use the portal to go out and in. I'm guessing I messed it up by using the wrong liquid. Quit the training grounds? Yes. Let's go back in. Yep, let's do it. Whoopsie internet. <laughs> Made a mistake. Ignore the smell. Yeah, it's all good. Was already going to. Here is my riddle. First choice is to... Okay. So... What fate do I wish to choose? The wolves. That's, that's nice. So we're just going to rush through it this time. And hope we don't have to kill the person at the end. Okay, now we're going to speak to Circumference. <laughs> And we're gonna we're gonna grab a stone, a steel sword, and the steel warhammer, because he can die to no sword. And then we're gonna we're gonna do this. Let's go. I'm guessing I want to use aggressive. Yeah, slash maybe. I don't want to die though. I specifically I'm gonna put this on, and I'm gonna put my attack up. I'm just going to use all the prayers to ensure that I win this fight. Come on. Oh no, chat. I can't do it. <laughs> uh, I don't have the health to do this. <laughs> I died again. No. <laughs> Rip. Okay, it's very, very hard to fight this guy. Meaningfully. So I need to get some, some XP first. And he's just got... If I do a tiny bit more training and health, that'll make a big difference. Okay, up the staircase. None of that happened to me. Also, you just got an ad for Joe Biden. When this game was new, Joe Biden was only... Oh, actually, he was still pretty old. Yeah, I've seen photos of him when he was first, like, in office, like, 40 years ago. And it's like, he was still pretty old then. <laughs> it's kind of wild. Um, anyway, so... I am going to... Yeah, there's nothing you can really do to cheese that fight. Like, I could drink a beer or get, like, a combat potion or something. But those only last so long, I think. So, I'll I'll work it out. I'll, I'll just do this again, and it will go better. Chat, the problem is it didn't go well enough. Zoom. This time will go much better than the previous ones. Yeah, I love flute salad, by the way, um, Plume. Absolute, absolute banger. Um... If they read the dialogue... <laughs> okay. Do, how long would a combat potion last? Is it worth drinking now? If I'm fighting in a few minutes? Uh, Divine Combat Potion lasts five minutes. There's boost plugin on Runelite. Man, there's a, there's a plugin for everything on Runelite, huh? Um, Joe Biden was the youngest center at the time when he was building. The similar thing is uh, Elon Musk. If you look at him when he first got successful versus now. 
It's wild. The I think what it is is um I have I have a really really low defense level <laughs> and also really low hit points. So maybe if I fight something while I'm out here, like if I fight this duck chat, I'm gonna do it. I'm just gonna punch this duck. Yeah, what are you gonna do about it, duck? You think you can stop me punching you? And when I finish punching the duck to death, it'll give me yeah hit points. So that tiny wait, did I just get I got I completed an easy task in the Falador area. Is one of those tasks to, to punch a duck to death? Kill a duck in the Falador Park. Wow, monstrous. I can't believe they would encourage that. Um, stress does things to a person. <laughs> what a bizarre task. Let's go. Okay. Might want to do waterfall to get the okay. So I've got the attack, I've got the strength. I just, I don't have the hit points or the defense. Can I have a clue for that door? Okay, so... Uh, they prioritize DPS and combat, so maybe kicking. Yeah, I, um... Okay, let's... So the next... This clue is bite again. I think it varies every time you do it, like, based on you, the player. But for me, the answer to that riddle was bite. Easy. We're speedrunning it now, chat. Zoom. Okay, so circumference, let's do it. I think that we want to use the... Well, I guess I'll compare the weapon strengths. Maybe. I'll see if the Warhammer is actually just better. So this has stab plus 11, slash plus 8. This has basically not... It, this is all crush. So if I use this, just make sure I do a stab. That's what I need to make sure. Let's go for the stabby stab. Oh, I'm already... It's already gone poorly for me, chat. Um, we'll increase all of these by 5%. Yeah, there we go. Okay, no, I'm, I'm gonna die again. Oh, he's just, he's just wrecking me, chat. He's just, it's not fair. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna come back here with more, more health. You could flinch it, maybe. Um, yeah, I think what I've gotta do is just do a little bit of XP training. Um, which sounds like a good time to go do the rock crabs, really. But I want to do this quest so I can do the agility requirement so that I can live out my dreams, chat, of, uh, of finally doing this Barrock Diary. Because I'm, I'm so close. I just need the runecrafting, the fishing, and the agility. Ignorance can be bliss sometimes. That is true. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. But yeah, being an Iron Man is cool because you have to start caring about the dumb things like this. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a moment in the Falador Bank. Because clearly that's where I deserve to be. Okay, so we'll teleport over there again. Thank God for these teleport tablets, by the way. Retry till lucky. Yeah, honestly, trying till lucky might be the best bet. Like, there are probably other quests I could do. But in the meantime, I'm just going to do some casual skilling. This is the great thing about RuneScape. You fail at one thing, you could just do something else. There's a there's there's literally a trillion tasks you've got to get done at any point in time. So go get get something on your to-do list done. In my case, um what are we gonna do? We're gonna knife some willow logs. I have no idea where my willow logs are. Uh I feel like they'd be visible. I've got a thousand of them somewhere. There they are, at the very top. So we'll grab as many as we can. And we're gonna make some short bows. Okay, so these short bows are worth probably a decent amount of XP each, right? Yeah, like 37. So we can sit... This is, this is one of the cool things about the game chat. Is you can play quite actively doing puzzles and, you know, fighting monsters. Or you can sit here and there are no... There's, there's no clicking required. Um, you can probably get 5 to 10 defense levels in less than 30 minutes of those attack and strength levels. Yeah, it might make a big difference, too. So, yeah, this is really handy when you're watching a, uh... This is really handy when you're, like, watching something. Because once every minute or so, you just come back in, you bank it, 
and then you're like, let's let's get back to it. And then you and then you click this and you click that and you're like, let's go. <laughs> it's really, really handy. Um the, the like I think a game that can basically accommodate you how much you want to play. Because there are some times where you want to be really into a game, and then there's some times where you really don't. Where you actively just wanna uh do uh, you know, you, well, you want to do something else. You want to kind of play casual. You want to get those rewards, but you want to do them in the background. Having active tasks is great, and having passive tasks is also very wonderful. But yeah, I think I think the best move for me right now is to go get some XP. Um, I could probably even some fight, fight some guards. I could fight something at least. Found out there's a way to kill the guy without taking damage. <laughs> Man, my hero. You can kind of trap him. Hey, IBX, I've been a fan for three to four years. Hey, thank you. And so we do this just a few times, chat. Just free inventory full. Should get me, if I'm not mistaken, enough for 36 fletching. And so we'll have a nice big level party. Okay, okay. Control F the word flinch on the quest guide. It's explained. Yeah, it's, you know what? Let's, let's do it. Flinch. Um, hey, level 36, by the way. So, we can wait for his HP to go away. What does flinching mean? I have, I've never heard the concept of flinching. Skillers may find this impractical because Soleil is very difficult to get into the corner position and he will take damage very slowly to the point where he may heal fast than the damage being done. Flinch means you attack and immediately retreat. Oh, so that might be... That might be something worth doing. But yeah, anyway, long story short. It's, it, it, that's, it's something I'm going to casually do in the background. I find Fletching's a really good skill because it is so AFK able. Um, so yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some levels real quick. Just in the park, gonna gonna bring some I've watched for a few years. Super stoked that you're getting into OSRS and hope you continue. <laughs> I'm into raiding and PVM and would love to help. I'm the guy in the cow outfit who's following you B to Oh look, it's the guy it's the guy in the cow outfit. Thank you so much, first name, last name. I really appreciate uh, having some people here. If their HP disappears before they, there's a delay before they retaliate. Oh, so there's a way to take advantage of that, basically. Okay, I'm gonna attack the duck. Oh wow, free, free it, free it. Wow, that was that was good. We're gonna put on the defensive, and we're just gonna run advanced game mechanic manipulation. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm just gonna fight some cows. It's a classic. It's a good go-to. Not gonna get hurt. And then later we can like, I don't know, sit at some rock crabs or something. Do, 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 do. Okay, so cows are in this pen over here, if I'm not mistaken. We could also attack imps on the way. We might get some beads, so that that's pretty worthwhile, right? And we'll even pick up some cow hides and we'll make a little bit of money. Which is, you know, kind of nice, I guess. These ashes are worth something. There we go. Oh yeah, five, five damage, and a ball of wool too. I don't think I want the five down, uh, the the ball of wool. I I want to believe I do, but I know I don't. So yeah, because of these stats, I can get pretty decent uh, defense levels up. And because I was kind of close to beating him the first time, it makes me think that if I just have like one more hit point level, maybe I'll do it a lot easier. But yeah, I'm I'm picking this up a lot faster than I expected. Okay, so we're going to pick up all these cow hides. It's going to be great. They can tan them or something or sell them. Goon Squad says just for laughs. You know, I the, the the RuneScape people who follow me are some of the nicest, clearly. Like, uh, a lot of them have come in here to tip. Some of them have been giving me some RuneScape money to help me get started. It's really, really charming, honestly. Okay, defense level 8. Let's get it up to 10. Because I've got some black armor I need to wear. So I can kind of kill two birds at one time right here. Easy peasy. <laughs> oh, should I attack the baby cows, by the way, chat? Or do you think that's unethical? Ah, I've done it anyway. It's too late. I'm a monster now. There's no turning back. Okay, defense level 10. Or 9, rather. 10 is very close. Yeah, so... Having high attack and HP, ha attack and strength makes it easier to train your other stats because you hit higher numbers and your XP is based on what you hit, if I'm not mistaken, like four per damage or something like that. It's very handy. So bury some bones. I, and then we go attack a cow. 
I could probably go harvest my cabbages at this point, actually. Four XP per one damage, yeah. And then hit points, if I'm not mistaken, is one XP per one damage. Oh, 1.33. Yeah, 1.33 makes more sense, because then you'd be balanced based on your other stats. I, uh... Yeah, I used to, like, check all this stuff by, like, just visual. Okay, so now attack the cow. Um, or by just looking. Okay, so 20 damage, and we'll have level 10 defense. And it might make the difference between living and not. So that would be nice. That would be nice. Love me some Osiris. I'm a long-time player, not so much lately, but when it first came out 10 years later, I played it so much. I remember when OSCRs was the new RuneScape. It really is. It's uh, it's a good comfort game. You know, you go through some stuff. It's good to just have this to, to be there for you. Oh, no, my cabbages died, chat. I didn't know they could. I thought... Oh, no. Okay, so half my cabbages are healthy. Uh, whoopsie. Didn't didn't realize that was an option. So we'll, we'll, we'll use the spade and the rake, maybe? We'll just, we'll just spade out our cabbages. Okay, look at this great... Oh, yeah. Look, look at these cabbages. You ever get farming XP this good? I'm, I'm gonna get 11, chat. It's gonna be incredible. Oh, oh, one more. Yeah! Farming level 11. I can now grow rosemary. Yeah, I love to see it. Did you use compost? Yeah, I did use compost. Actually, fun fact. So we can, we can, uh, throw the compost in. Put it down. It's, it's so little XP, but I feel, oh, actually, I feel like we have to. And then we're gonna grab this bucket right here. In, in fact, um, I've taken a break from OSRS, but you're making me wanna play again. I know, it's, it's, it's dangerous, right? It's legitimately dangerous. <laughs> Okay, so we'll just clear the dead cabbages. I don't think we get any XP if it's dead, which is sad. Understandable, but sad. So we'll just throw some compost down. And uh, I guess we'll pick the marigold and replace it with something else. Aqua wants to trade with me. What's he got? Oh, oh. Another combat bracelet. Oh, right, because mine's in the bank now. What do you think this is useful for? Where can it take me? Warriors Guild, Champions Guild, Monastery, Ranging Guild. And the Amulet of Glory can take me to Edgeville, Karamja, Draenor Village. Oh, Draenor Village. That's handy. Let's go. Um, I can buy some seeds here. <laughs> that's, that's, that's like, excited by chat. I want to buy seeds. We'll put the cabbages in, put the cowhide in, uh, the bones in for now, I guess, and the wool of wool. And we'll grab just a little bit of money out. Enough that we can, like, leave them on the ground when we're done. Do, 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 I love this song, Snap. This is, this is, this is, this is one of the nostalgia songs. You can just listen to this all day. Then buy the five cabbages, and we're going to work out. So Rosemary is probably, um, Drano's very close by, we just ran. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's definitely a waste of a teleport. But it, feel, it makes me feel good to do it. It's, it's like flaxseed. It's like a... It's a high quality thing. So if I want to protect my cabbages, I need rosemary seeds. So I'm going to now trade for some of those. I think you only really get to use one. So I'll just buy one of those right here. And buy the extra cabbage seed. And we'll... If the rosemary grows fast enough... Oh, actually, I'll buy the... Um, I think Uncharged Glories are worth more than Charged right now. Oh, interesting. You, can you get... If you, if you charge them, do you get experience or something, maybe? Okay, so we're going to take some bags of onions. I don't have any onions. I've got one sack of onions, seven, and then an empty sack. And we'll put the onions in those, I guess. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Collection log hunting. So it takes onions to look after the cabbages. Yeah, so if I take these onions there, now the man will look after them, and then I'll grow some rosemary to make it work. Um, does everyone notice that music sounds like it's coming from a Genesis-style FM synthesizer? There is definitely a distinct sound uh, that RuneScape has, huh? Oh, this one's a good one, too. Okay, because uh, people charge them in Woody for chance at eternal glory. Collection log hunting. 
Oh, so people are willing to roll the dice. That's an interesting one. Okay, so I have to rake now, because it's been so long. And by so long, I mean seconds. <laughs> but then we can grow some cabbages, and then we'll pay the farmer to look after the cabbages while we wait for our rosemary to grow. I'm guessing we'll also get paid to, or we'll get some XP for picking up our rose, our marigolds that exist. So a little bit of farming is going to go a long way. They're using a MIDI sort of file with a sound thumb. It says two to cat. I, I, I'm glad you know your music enough to say those words. Because I certainly do not. Okay, so we'll pick the marigold. I'm assuming it's going to have some value. Oh, okay, no, we just... Yeah, marigolds. There were 143. So we could just leave them, basically. We'll compost the spot. And we'll put the, the rosemary in. And then I'll fill up my buckets just while I'm here. And we're still, we're still quite a bit from the next level, honestly. So my, my farming dreams are going to have to wait. But in the meantime, tool leprechaun, you can have all my stuff. And we'll pay the man his, his bag of onions so we can look after my cabbages. One sack of onions, yes please. Northeast, one sack of onions, yes please. Wonderful. So, wait for Toycats will be streaming when I'm considering getting my daughter her melatonin, vitamins, gummy bears. I've been uh, taking a uh, magnesium for I think recently. As a. Uh, I, I've been like struggling a lot with something or something or other. I wonder if it is like the standard thing. The humans classically just go back and forth between sleeping well and not sleeping well. Or is it something about the uh, the amount of screen time that I have and the things I do before I sleep? I don't know the actual answer, but I just know. I should be strong enough now. Wear the jewelry. Oh, if I wear it, and then I'll level faster. Right, okay. That's clever. Okay, let's do it. Let's just go slay some cows. Nice. And the glory too. It's interesting that this will give you so much. I assumed if it was it was just for the teleports, nothing else was a bonus. But yeah, look how look how powerful I am now, chat. <laughs> Move. <laughs> okay, so if I get to one more hit point level, that should make a big difference. Unless I'm close to another one of these anyway. Okay, let's go. It has pretty sick stats considering zero requirements. They just drag. Hey, combat twenty-seven. Chat, people are going to think I'm, like, actually good at the game now. When they see me, they'll be like, ooh, this guy, this guy knows something. That was my brother you just killed. <laughs> um, yeah, one more, one more defense level, one more hit point level, and then we'll kill this quest. Which is more nostalgic, old, old school runescape music or Minecraft music? Could be a neurodivergent thing, too. I think, uh... I've been trying to forever, like, work out why it is that certain people... Like, I, found, I, I find the term neurodivergent to be really intriguing as a catch-all, right? A lot of people identify by it, and it's very handy to find people who also identify with it, which is all that you really need in an identifier sometimes. It's not something I personally, like, do, but I understand why it is handy for some people. But at the same time, I feel like it is... Whenever there's like a broad categorization, it means there is something there that people feel they need, you know, like addressed and done for the underlying thing. And yeah, I, I don't know, I feel like the idea of there being some link in life because your thoughts work differently is interesting to me. It doesn't it doesn't seem like that that follows perfect logic one to one like i it it feels like sometimes the goal in, is to solve problems rather than like i don't know my, my, my goal whenever something is like feels wrong is like to solve that problem hey what is this by the way okay so we're gonna try the combat potion <laughs> okay chat this is a group effort we're gonna do it now we're gonna have the best time uh, so I think we can rub one of these things to get to Falador. I forget which one it was. Is it the combat? Nope. Is it this? Nope. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for some good luck. Oh, wait. First, teleport to Falador. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. I'm, 
I'm ex let's do it. What does look up mean? Oh, I can see their stats. Oh, that's interesting. You can't see it, chat, but this, this person is a 2,123 total level and a 99... Oh, yeah, that's the agility one. Um, is shift dropping vanilla or a uh, rune light plugin? Let's find out. Oh, it's not in my rune light plugin. <laughs> Buried his bones. Just got him anyway. Might as well, might as well get something from them. And now we'll go to the bank. The problem with any exclusionary term like neurodivergent is defining the baseline that it is divergent from is nearly impossible. Yeah, it's... There's a lot of terms that only work because people would opt out of defining themselves that way. But then that ceases to be meaningful in anything besides vibes. And I try, I try to avoid categorizing the world by vibes, even though it is highly effective and people do it all the time. It feels very fast and loose with facts. Um, people have different uh, natural tendencies that they think. Hey, thank you, Valdor. Let's go. Yeah, look how fast I'm there now. Um, I was uh, using a big label so I know you don't them too soon. I think it's uh, I, I do think there is a certain amount of if your brain is thinking more or differently or whatever. Oh, I've got to drop this scimitar. Love skipping 20 tiles. Yeah, it's, it sounds like it was, Okay, so we'll, we'll drop these. And Sylveon gave these to me, so if, if, if they took them back, it wouldn't be the worst. But I'll give them to him. And then that way I'll, I'll trust him to be here later. Um, and, uh, okay. It, it wasn't it wasn't Wild Sylveon. Okay, that... Who gave it? I have no idea where I got those from then. Okay. Um, affordable bank. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I'm now going to drink this whole potion. I have three doses left. Whoa! Big boost. If I drink another boost, it doesn't do anything though, so I'm going to drop this. Oh, that's worth so much. Oh, I feel... Okay, let's go. Let's do it. So now I've got these big boosted stats. Oh, but I've got this amulet on. Oops. Uh, I have to remove it. Whoopsie. Okay. I try. We shulkers. <laughs> yeah, chat. I have my, my, my goon squad. A beautiful shulkers. Um, I, I like that, actually. I like that a lot. Nice to see you still on. I can actually hang out now that I'm home and rewatch the rest later. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm currently in the midst of the uh, recruitment drive quest. Okay, so fight. Oh, it's fish this time. It's actually changed now, chat. Um, this is a quest where I have to do some killing. But the monster is just... Well, you know, the, 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 the knight is just so much stronger than me. And so I've been killing cows to level up. So that's my big redemption arc right now. Okay, I'm not going to mess it up now. Okay, test my observation. It's going to be a bronze two-handed sword, I think. Yeah, bronze two-handed sword. We mix them up. Okay, memorize. I know exactly what I'm looking for, chat. It's it's a guy that looks... Or a bronze halberd, I guess. No, yeah, wait. Yeah, bronze two-handed sword. He's gonna look like this, but bronze. That's who I'm gonna click. Okay, we're not goons, we're shulkers. Okay, let's go. Touch the statue you think has been added. See, the game, the game knows, but we're good. Nice. Okay, are my stats still boosted? They are. Nice. Perfect. Step through the portal. I'm gonna touch the statue again anyway. <laughs> okay, use portal. Let's go. Okay, so this is the big this is the big challenge. I've tried it so many times now, chat. This is gonna be the one though. So we're gonna switch with we're gonna go in with stab, and we're just gonna do it. Yeah. It's going well so far. Put on steel skin, strength, and attack. I'm using every buff at my disposal. If I can't do it now, I can never do it. We have to mostly kill him using uh, using this weapon, and then we switch out to this, and we're going to finish him with the axe. Yeah! Wow! I did it with only four hit points taken. Thank God. Thank God for the shulker squad. <laughs> okay, so this challenge requires just grabbing everything from the shelves. Uh, I have to not make the mistake of taking the... One of these is like ascetic or sulfur something and 
what is it? Cul culprit sulfate can't be confused with culprit sulfide or whatever. Uh, take this. And then we're gonna take this. Take it all. The easiest thing for me to call myself is probably just autistic because it covers a lot of different areas of wonkiness. Yeah, I, I think there's a. I do think that it is handy in a way to have something to be like, oh yeah, here is a list of ways in which you might expect me to be different. Um, it's a, uh, but I feel like we are defining those generation by generation. Like I, I wouldn't, I would be very surprised if in. 30 years, uh, the whole, like, what, what, you know, like, the term neurodivergent exists, or the idea of even, you know, like, ADHD will be recategorized into different things. Um, it's kind of just, like, things you got to do one at a time to work out. Okay, I've got to focus this time, chat. It messed me up last time. So I've got a metal spade with no handle, which I will stick in the door. Then I have to use the culprit sulfate over here, and then the vial of liquid on the door. Okay. Now open the door. Full spade, stone door. Nice. Now I've got to open another door, but there's a key over there. Use a vial of liquid in your tin on the inventory. Vial of liquid, tin. Tin, gypsum. Okay. So I, I, I've never, I've never heard of gypsum being used to make key copies but I guess I should know my science. So we'll put this on there now and then the tin ore powder on there and then we'll heat this all up again. I, how, <laughs> how would you work this out if you were a child in 2002? Um, so use all of these items on the tin and now let's go. So I've made a duplicate key which I can use to open this door. Yeah! Okay, now it's the same puzzle again. We just did it. I'm good. I remember it. It's such a cool puzzle. This is one of my favorite. It's a logic puzzle mixed in here is so fun. Um, so then we're gonna drop the chicken. And we're gonna run back. It's great. Um, yeah, I gotta turn the DSM to a cyclopedia. It's a... I, I, I read a uh, whole book about... Um, or I read it, Robert, I read a book that covered the DSM. And it did make me, like, have my doubts about, you know, like, ultimately, everyone who gets involved in these things uses them for generalization and then realizes, like, yeah, but you generalize a bit too much when you use the generalization book. And it's because, ultimately, yeah, every human is very different. And the correct way to actually look at it is to... Um, the correct way to, realize, to, to see that, therefore is to realize that if every human is very different, then you need to treat them all very differently. But we, we need to have easy instructions for people we don't trust to <laughs> treat people correctly or differently. We need to standardize things down such that there are not the mistakes that get made otherwise. Also, here we go. All three of them are together. Solve the puzzle. We are through. Hey, that was it. We finally did it. Yes! <laughs> oh, it is 11.55 p.m. chat. But I finally, I got I got my nine, level nine agility, my level 10 herb law, and my level, uh, my level 15 prayer. Look, now I, now I can do the superhuman strength prayer. That's nice. Oh, surprisingly intense just to get my first nine agility level. Honestly, at some point, Maybe I should maybe I should just train it the normal way. <laughs> but yeah, now what we can do is we can go to the Drain All Village rooftop course. No, we can't actually. I need I need just a little bit more XP. And then I can go to Drain All Village. Oh. Uh, I thought I could do it at level seven. Well, whoopsie. <laughs> I I could do a the Balador Agility shortcut a bunch. Assuming you get XP for that. I actually I don't think you do now. So you do low level agility arena or the gnome stronghold. And we've got a toy mouse. Fun fact, those give agility. Yeah, that'd be real handy if so. Just a li little bit of a boost to the agility. But yeah, I'm slowly getting through these early early game runescape quests. I'll be a bee and hit you up. Oh, wow. Incredible. So now I've also got this initiate salad. 
which I cannot wear because I don't have the defense level, which is fun. So now I'm gonna run to the bank. Uh, I guess I should run to the bank over here. By the way, the fight you did originally have the puzzle of no man can defeat me, but they removed it for some reason. I bet it was a uh, Celestian Silver. So the I made a joke uh, yesterday, if you've been following both streams. I made the comment that, oh no, I'm gonna have to get a sex change for this quest. And uh, you, they actually changed that recently. It used to be you had to be a woman to defeat that guy. Um, and I do think it's very interesting that they would remove that. I wonder if it is like a modern thing, like they don't want the controversy. What do you mean, no man? Surely it doesn't matter what my character is, he identity. You know, I'm sure they just, they were just worried about some nonsense like that and they figured get ahead of the problem before you do it. Like in general, I guess you can, to play it safe as a corporation, you can just avoid referencing gender. Um, and then you, you never get in the on the wrong side of people. Um, also, although the game has a ton of references out so like, <laughs> th There must be something... There must be something in there. I would love to know what it is. Very inefficient, treating people as individuals. Can we do instinctive patterns? Can we correlation equals correlation and such? Yeah, there's a lot of ways in which I I will admit I've you know seen correlation probably maybe wrongly but also there's a ton of times where you get it perfectly right by guessing that way so it's kind of a it's a hard one to say is right or wrong okay so i'm gonna do it i'm gonna do a little little fletching now chat i've got all these willow logs and uh, i can i can fletch them while i trade me oh let's do it do, 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 do. oh i've got all this stuff in my inventory i need to put it away Okay, so let's let's try it again. Okay, try. Okay, so I don't know what a toy mouse is or what it's gonna do, chat. But apparently, I'm gonna get experience from playing with it. Wine toy mouse. Use toy mouse. Release toy mouse. Okay, so if I pick up the toy mouse, so I had. Okay, I've got 151 experience remaining. So release Toy Mouse. So we now pick up the Toy Mouse. And instead of 151, we got still... Oh, I failed that time. Ah, I see. <laughs> this is a silly pep gang experience. It's 148 to go now. Oh, this is a grind. Okay, let's find both of these. Do them at the same time. Okay. This is a terrible way of getting experience. <laughs> I can't get this second one for some reason. There we go. Oh man, this how how does this this is the weirdest way to get some. You don't have to get to the other map, but it is funny. Yeah, this this is a wild way to to get XP. Toy like cat playing with a toy mouse. <laughs> yeah, that is true. I am very glad about that. But I think I, I think I started punching this person. My bad. I was trying to pick up the mouse. I hope you understand, Mr. Guard. I have a very good reason for wanting to do that. I'm just trying, I just, I'm, okay, wind it. There's an actual toy mouse too. Chat, can you believe there's an actual toy mouse for a toy cat to play with? I can't. But yeah, I, uh, okay, I think I finally picked it up. So if I do this just another, like 40 times, I'll get to level 10. That might actually make more sense than going all the way across the world. But I hate that that's even something I have to consider doing. Um, yeah, I think this... I probably just do another quest that rewards agility. Then I can finally have enough. Although now I have enough agility, I think, to do the diary I wanted to. Uh, yeah, no, 13 agility. I need to... I need to get some levels so I can get some levels so I can climb a fence. And then I'll be good. <sighs> okay, and uh, catching some trout in the river seems easy enough too. Although I bet there's a decent quest for fishing XP, so we, we can probably do it. Okay, wait, follow. Let's do it. Let's go. You can do the wolf for XP. Oh, do you actually get experience from that? Oh no, the follow didn't work. Okay, let's let's try that one again. <laughs> okay, let's let's go. Oh no, he's, he's too fast. Is that the wolf right there? I, um, but yeah, the, to have some real big 
minor point. This gives one XP per off. <laughs> oh man. Okay. So we're at 135 to go. We're still at 135 to go. 134 to go. Oh, so it gives one experience per hop this way. <laughs> Why? Why even give the experience at that point? This is this is the agility. Agility is the worst stat to train. I cannot believe this is a real. What? Why? Um, but yeah. To to summarize my point that I was making somewhere today. Man, this stream got to three hours. It is midnight. I'm going to bed, internet. I hope you enjoyed your time with me, internet. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to climb this wall 130 times uh, off camera, and sadly, because it's an MMO, off camera means really, really off camera here. This is terrible. What have I, what have I, what am I doing to myself? <laughs> oh, okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna find next time. There's a quest that gives like a, a lamp or something. I'll just put it in agility. I'll just get that, that last XP level I need. To avoid doing this. Because this is awful. <laughs> Have a good evening, everyone. I, uh, I'm, uh, I'm going to go finish a milkshake. And uh, and, it's, and, and the Netflix show I've been watching. Wish I'd give you XP love. If I had spirit trees unlocked, I'd have just... Uh, you'd use my house to go right by the course. Sad. I, I bet there's a decent teleport that I have that will get me somewhat close. Faster than using these toy mouses. Um, go. Okay. Wind. Wind. Release. Okay, we can do this. Hey, 40 water runes they finally bought. Release, release. Pick up. Pick up. Yeah, look at me, chat. I am I am the agility master now. Yeah, have a good have a good nap. It's a nap. <sighs> yeah, this was fun. I hope I don't do this again. If you see me doing this again, it's a sign I've got willpower issues. It's not. Be warned. Do, 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 do. See you tomorrow for QA Saturday. And then probably for another stream on Sunday. Meeting a couple of friends. Um, yeah, yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be fun. Gonna play some fair games. Gonna eat some brunch. See you then. One lap, a little one course, it'll be a level. Yeah, it's no, no. Okay, this is goodbye, internet. <laughs>